was your first team? First team? I, I, I got love, I love super lucky. First team. Oh, I, word? oh, I'm, I'm oh, boring. I'm boring, bro. <laughs> I uh, so I love Mega Man. So I picked okay. Mega Man. Uh, Cable is my favorite X Man. Uh, so I played Cable. Uh, and I just have always liked uh, robots, and I just got lucky. I played Mega Man Cable Sentinel off the rip. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> I'm going to hit the, jack, jet, the top tier jackpot. That's that's crazy, because my team Jeez. was like hey, Hayato, Strider, Cylon. See, I, I moved Tayato later, and I we were talking about that with Production, who's a Hayato player. That's I feel like everybody goes to the phase, because he's just too cool. Yeah, he's very cool. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Robbie Durbin for the five dollar direct contribution right here. Look at that. Speaking of that, we got cable. This is and this is the funny part. These two teams, they they are considered top tier, right? Mm -hmm. But the funny part is this is old school top tier. Like old, like this is a top tier in like 2002, 2003, right? So obviously in 2024, they're way harder to work because they're more resource hungry. Of course. Yeah. The demons, and I feel like I have suspicions where this patch, uh, this version of the game. Blackheart's better in this game. You think so? <laughs> I don't know why, but for some reason, it just feels like his chip damage is like more absurd than usual. I'd say right here, doing a good job getting the juggle. Couldn't quite get it off the assist, but that's all right. Maintaining pressure and almost gets the punish after the alpha counter too. That's good to get uh, get Storm out though. That's sick. Yeah, very good alpha counter right there. Oh, yeah, because if you have Storm on point, you can't you can't just do a DHC because Cable Ground Hyper Viper I mean, is super punishable. Yeah, definitely one of the weaknesses of having him in that spot, but continue to do well with the DP, locking down, getting that chip. Goes for the tag, though. Yeah, brings in Cyclops, which is surprisingly because Blackheart versus Cable, Cable destroys Blackheart because you know how when Blackheart does the super right here, the Heart of Darkness, mm -hmm. and you see the little dash that he has to commit to, Cable can Hyper Viper Beam that dash. So you can punish him after getting hit by Blackheart super. I'd say definitely just a big target too. You can see with the jump heavy punch, using that gun to be able to, you know, maintain stuff, keep him from super jumping freely. Nice. Oh, and let's see if Cable gets the punish right here. Can he get it? Oh, he doesn't go for it. He tried to go for it, but now you're going to get punished for this. Yeah, that's a super punish. Two frame air hyper viper beam right there. Oh, missed time the guard break too. Unfortunate, but I mean, solo storm. This is a tough one for sure. Four bars, but yeah, absolutely. Off the assist, that's a freebie. Six stuff. Dude, that's the fodder son duo. You can't go wrong with that. Anytime Gene Splice hits, it's an easy confirm into Hyper Viper Beam. I like this team. Yeah, this, this is a very annoying team. Like, if you don't know how to deal with Blackheart, people are just gonna just run over you because he's one of those characters i would say he's a, a knowledge check right you don't really yeah. see him being picked and like i would say uh before the collection come out like the, the meta of marvel 2 like during like the dreamcast days uh but here it's, it's like people for, kind of forgot how to fight against him he's just a, this annoying character but you can always like get under him and launch uh the launch will always beat like his coming down pressing like light kick for example because that's what they're going to do a lot yeah. Plus, I mean, you have two good anti-air assists uh, behind you, so and they're good for different reasons too. As you can see, Gene's place right there off the trade is able to come through. Yeah, look at that damage right there, forty-three hits, and he's hitting. Blackheart's considered one of a bigger character, so he takes more hits on like these mashable supers. <gasps> and this is the yeah, this is the Blackheart infinite. Yep. Got him. Yeah. The crazy part of this infinite, you see how he's dashing like that. You have to do the dash to get that little pop up. If you don't do the dash, then the demon infinite won't work like won't work as accordingly. <gasps> oh, actually ended up guard breaking him there because he had the block a little too high. Looks for the guard break again and does succeed this time. A little bit of damage off the top. Yeah, and he got and he has cable Cyclops with black card assist. It's just very annoying because he can definitely add the little glaciers on top. It'll kind of be a little mini trap right here. Full screen. Yep. Blocks the hailstorm. Nice standing heavy punch. Kills Storm right away right there. Oh, yeah. couldn't quite get him before he got to the ground, though. But Cyclops, I mean, the best you can do wow. here, yeah, look for the super, look for the snipe, build some meter. Yeah, but even then, it's just, this is such a tall order. Like, Cable yeah. versus Cyclops, it's just so hard already. Just the way, like, you know, Cable has to run away. Cyclops has to chase. And the best part about it, about Cable... His hurt box is very, very small. And what I mean about that, like, you can't tick throw him for some reason. Tick throwing mm. him is, like, so weird because he, for some reason, takes more block stun than regular characters. So, like, you can't do, like, crouching jab throw. You can do just raw throw, 
but if you do anything of a block like a block string into throw you just will whiff the throw and then that's when gene spice will come out like when cable will just call his assist and then you get yeah. punished for it yeah, and it's so hard to lock him down in those spots too because like you said having to do raw throw when you have cyclops behind it there are certain assists where you just know it's it's less about uh, if they're going to call it and more about when they're going to and what you're going to do about it and Cyclops is definitely on the list, right? It's too scary, right? At that point. We got black card. This time we're going to have Cable on point. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. Oh, but you get hit by the... My, oh, he misses the infinite. His character didn't turn around in time, but I think that's okay. He's already up two games anyway, right? Yeah, definitely still looking good. Blackheart really haven't seen an answer yet. Doing a better job with this super jump heavy punch, though. I like this. Trying to stop him from uh, you know, establishing himself in the air. Yeah. A super jump heavy punch will snipe the demons, and you can hit confirm that shot into Hyper Viper Beam because it's pretty much like it's not a true soft knockdown, but it's like almost a soft knockdown. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the, the amount of stun on it is crazy. <sighs> okay. That's didn't want to link it. Yeah, yeah, didn't want to link an HVB for himself. Gets punished. Okay. Oh, again, gets shot, but Cyclops, it's okay. He can he could definitely afford it right here. Hyper Viper Beam, Byzantian. Look at that. That's a rainbow cable, rainbow meter. So any <laughs> shot right here. Oh, he gets. No, I thought he was going to hit both. Yeah, honestly, lucky that Storm didn't get caught in it here. Has to go to DHC for safety in it. Maybe you're right, because that felt like a lot of chip. I'm telling you, man. Like, <laughs> Blackheart got some buffs, bro. <laughs> The chip damage in this game is like absurd. I don't know what, but even when I'm playing like Storm or Cyclops, like I feel like my chip damage game has like either my mashing skills has evolved or like I'm just hitting the sweet spots for the chip damage every single time. Yeah, hey, listen, we all get better at mashing as we get older, right? That's, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got him off the anti air there, pushes him away. Yeah, Cable's more of just like the get off of me while Cyclops is more of like the combo assist, right? Oh, yeah. Haha, -ha, that's gonna punish because he didn't dash out of the demons. Ooh, nice! Finally gets a kill, but Sticky Sticky loses the Oki, but gets the raw tag. No punish though. Oh, oh. He might this might be checkmate. No, never mind. He messes it up. You got a DAC. Go for the chip damage, alpha counter. Yep. Making sure Storm live gets some recoverable red health in the process. Okay, pushed him away there. Still, has, I mean, has four bars. Gets the tag as well. No launcher though. Oh no, he's dead. Yeah, but look, Storm is not gonna be able to do that. And Zanshin with the quick three straight right there. Quick three games. Dude, sick stuff. Like you said, the black heart been putting in overtime. But like I would tell people, yeah, I invented Strider Doom because I was the first one to play that in my arcade. Of course. Right? But then Alex Vi said, Well, I play Strider Doom in my arcade, so I invented it. Right? And then people had arguments of like who 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 found out Unfly? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. They're like, they're like Seattle. And they're like, people are like, no, no, San Diego found it. And then people say, no, Texas found it. So I'm just like, well, one, the one thing for sure, New York definitely didn't found it. Didn't find it. We <laughs> saw that shit, <laughs> pretty much, right? So that's 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 what I we can agree on. But look at this team. Oh, we got yes. the BB Hood Juggernaut. He's gonna go for the Juggernaut glitch. And don't forget, guys, mm -hmm. they did patch this in. So we Juggernaut glitch is legal. I'm assuming he is gonna go for the Juggernaut glitch though. Power yeah. up. Oh, no power. He's fighting. Oh, uh, he's man. fighting. It looks like there right, we right, go. Right, Get right, the power right. up. Yep. The times two damage. Here we go. It was funny when I, I when they first said it. Yeah, we, the Cytoric power up. And I'm like, you know, I don't follow like Marvel comics like that. So I didn't mm -hmm. know it was called Cytoric power up. I just always refer to it as the juggernaut glitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You can see here, Iron Man trying to get some distance closed here. If you're going to go for the super jumps, uh, especially against drones, I don't see that smart bomb a little more when we're up in the air. Controls a lot of space. It's a slow projectile. Definitely really good for approaching. Yeah. Oh, my God. But you got to watch out for the Juggernaut. So what Loden Demon wants to do, he wants to get the triple team. The triple team startup is so fast, so he's going to wait for the assist and do triple team and then use the Juggernaut glitch to kill him like that. And he is dead. Yep, absolutely. And I mean, just takes a beam for the trouble. Not too worried about it. Has two bars still. Yeah, but Iron Man did die in the process because he was low on health. But now, Loading Demon still has two, three bars. So if he sees Sentinel, he might just let it rip again. See, yep, let it rip. But the chip damage, damage enough. No. Okay, oh. Demon Hood. Him with the Red Riding Hood. He was so ready for the tag, too. Has two bars again. Might just look for it here. Gets the hit. Oh, Doom just barely gets away. Yeah, I think he tried. Look at that. Oh, he's going to kill from chip damage. 
He might as well just chip him out again. Look at the strings, though. Uh oh, Juggernaut's still in there. Punish him. <gasps> he didn't punish him, Danger Box. Oh, no. Maybe he just didn't know. But yeah, you just got to go for launcher there. You got to get something. Yeah, I know. He definitely could have definitely dealed a lot of damage. Or you could even kill the assist at that point, right? Because mm -hmm. if you launch the assist, I don't think Doom is able to do launch over and over because of the recovery of Crouching Heavy Punch. Yeah. But he can, he can stay in the air and just keep doing like light kick, light kick, light kick, and just literally loop him that way. And it'll just do unscaled damage at that point against the assist. Mm -hmm. Say, I really like this team though a lot, honestly. This is a. I feel wasn't there. There was like a very strong Japanese player that played something. Like, played this with like Omega Red, right? Oh, yeah. Something his like name, that. His, his name is Al. And then, ah. So you guys need to YouTube the video. Dao D A U versus uh, Mike Infinite. I think because, that's the video I'm thinking of. That's, yeah, because that's the money match video. And bro, <laughs> my man got cooked by him. Yo, and Mike Infinite got cooked by this team. <laughs> Dude, it was, it was so good. With the Omega Red, it was so sick, bro. He <laughs> could. Okay, right off the start again, though. You know, get the charge, gonna look for the tag, gets out of there. Gonna Doesn't actually take the punish, was a little too far for the, the short, short launch. Yeah, Doom needs to be a little bit closer. So usually you, Doom likes to do, um, if you're gonna punish from far, you have to use down forward heavy kick. Down forward heavy kick will do the universal launcher, mm -hmm. and then you can launch the character right away. In superior attack, the butter gun, but the butter gun doesn't do any chip damage, right? You know, like mm -hmm. Marvel Three specific normals do chip damage. Yeah, yeah that, only Sentinel is able to do that, but not not with a, not with Doom butter gun, for example. Oh, he is rushing that down. Yeah, just looking for the launcher a couple times in a row. Try to keep it solid. Has max meter though. Got to spend some of it at some point, but not gonna oh, get a chance. Jesus Sentinel's Christ, <laughs> bro, that health just disappeared. Why the hell? <laughs> Yep. I have been using so much Juggernaut Lady because the Earthquake Assist is, I think, is actually pretty cheap. Yeah, that Earthquake Assist comes out so fast. It has a point of armor as well to you, so it's not like you can interrupt it like the first frame possible. Yeah, I mean, it has a pretty decent high hitbox at the start, too, for Lockdown. You can see oh. here gets the throw and Captain Commando. You know, when you think about it, that throw is kind of dark. You know what I mean? <laughs> Low key. <laughs> Low key kind of dark. Yo, this Ooh. beat was kind of cooking. Yeah, Earthquake okay. Assist works out well. We might just look for the chip here soon. Yeah, he, he could definitely kill from chip damage right here if you wanted to just do tri triple team. Yeah, short, short triple team will be enough at that point, though. Ah, man. What a team working out well. The BB Hood, man. Dude, I was BB I, Hood. I feel like when I first started playing this game, I always thought she would, because it did so much chip, like whenever like the CPU would do it against me, I was like, dude, maybe I should play this character. It was the, the earliest stage of maybe I should play this character. <laughs> yeah. I mean, BB Hood, I mean, is is really good. Obviously, it looks like she's all she's looking for is the gimmick of like double team, triple team with Juggernaut, which is primarily true for the most part. But mm -hmm. if you play more of like a runaway style, it's actually really hard to catch her. Like because she can throw like these like landmines, these bombs in the air. And they are like kind of like they just explode after like a, like maybe a few sec like one second. So mm -hmm. if you're trying to challenge against her, like she trades a lot with your hits. Yeah, so it's actually bottle. pretty annoying. Yeah, flame bottle for control. I mean, it has an okay assist too. You can see that slow moving rocket that she sends out. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, universe. Okay, yep. Yeah, there you go. Try to hit as much. Try to take as much damage against Juggernaut before he tags out. But he gets the power up again. And we got the corridor. And Danger Box definitely has the better team. Like, for sure, the better oh, yeah. team. But it's more of just like the strategy of loading Demon and just sniping out like that. Like, he's dead. <laughs> oh, you know, he survived with a pixel. Somehow. He calls him again. Fearless, but you lose him afterwards. No, the recovery. Yeah. He's able to get the punish. You have to be careful. There we go. We got the send. No, at least we're going to take BB Hood down. No, tries to go for dash launch. But wait, do we have the infinite? Iron Man tries to go for some type of infinite, though. Oh, oh we are pressing some buttons right here. Jab short roundhouse. And Iron Man's a character that's like has such good buttons. His buttons are so active. Yo, they are swinging right they now. They really Whoa. are. Had an opportunity to cancel to the super. Couldn't quite, though, as Lucas, that's the production man himself, Mr. TD. Thank you very much for your hard work today and for the $15 to the match, Reno. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So the the problem, the reason why I don't like this order right here with Iron Man on point is because if he tries to do triple team, there's startup on his triple team. Because the triple team startup is all based off your character, the point character's animation of the yes. super. So he has to summon the proton cannon, and that's why he switched out the BB hood because the BB hood activation is like right away. And she has a double jump, which is nice. So she can avoid the photon rays pretty easily. Yeah, I mean, Danger Box here with his strategy he's showing off right now. He's showing off his Marvel 3 roots right now because I know this guy, <laughs> I think he plays Doom Sentinel in Marvel 3. So that's why he's probably brought himself to this. Oh, but takes down Sentinel. I mean, that's a that's a good trade on both sides. Ooh, Proton. Yeah, chip damage. Can't avoid this one. Damn, Holy block damn. straight into it. That was so sick. And that is part of... I'm so glad that we segued perfectly from talking about seeing the interesting, cool stuff to getting to see a player playing that kind of stuff, like using the Juggernaut glitch, being able yep. to use that quick team super to be able to get the snipes. Alternate win conditions in this game, bro. But EX Promise, he, he's also another top eight player that has been uh, doing really well in the online tournaments. He plays an, an interesting team. So de okay. depending on the team, um, if he fights any type of MSP or like Magneto Psylocke, he will play Sentinel, uh, sorry, uh, Strider, Iron Man, Akuma. Okay. And then if you do, if, if you don't pick Psylocke, he will pick Strider, Iron Man, Doom. So that's his counter pick okay. between the two. And I, the reason why he doesn't like using Doom against Psyblade is because if you both called out Dr. Doom assists with the rocks, the molecular mm -hmm. shield, and Psyblade at the same time, Psyblade automatically wins. Mm -hmm. So it's a waste of an, an assist call. Yeah, it's always interesting. That's always been one of the funniest and coolest things about this game to me is watching the assist wars and seeing which assists kind of interact that way. You know, like uh, the uh, using uh, Doom to be able to stop Commando, depending on where the uh, the, uh, the spacing is. Cyclops being able to just kind of blast through it. It's it's interesting to see how many different uh, uh, like counter picks can happen in that way. Yeah, that's why I choose Cyblade. Uh, sorry, Cyclops assist like the Gene Splice because. Mm. He only loses to one assist in the game, that's Ken. And nobody plays Ken assist. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So Steven, though, is gonna be rocking that spiral stuff. So we'll see how it works out for him here. Obviously, being able to set up the trap. Almost got it there. Yeah, that trap is so hard to get out. This would dash fierce in the swords and call drones. This is really hard to get out because you need to push block and guard cancel. If you mm -hmm. don't push block and guard cancel, you can't get out of this trap. It's a really, cheap. really cheap, yeah, it's a really cheap strat because like push block in this game is like, like uh, you're kind of limited to push block. So like once you push block, you can't push block the next one right away. Uh oh, we got the air to ground. Eh, 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 maybe, oh, he drops it just Whoa. so close, so close there. But we build enough meter. We're gonna summon the orbs. This is such a funky matchup, I think. Nice alpha counter bait. Goes the bomb right there. Yep, keep the pressure up, maintain yep. chip. Look at the setup though. Oh, nice. Yeah, Spiral Swords could definitely be punished, but he doesn't go for the punish. I think he expected Sentinel DHC possibly. Net Battles with a mm. $20 direct contribution. Shout out to you, my man. Yeah, thank you very, very much. Well, for flight though, man, to get away. It's tough to get away in situations like that with uh, with uh, Repulsor Blast though. It's very, very good for being able to rip you out of the air as we go for the burn. Yeah, a great job. Repulsor Blast is really good against Sentinel right here, and it can go for the quick cross up, and it's just lots of damage. Also, like, EX Promise, he likes fighting this matchup because anytime he fights Sentinel, he wants to go for the infinite at this point. Try to go for the infinite there, it doesn't work out. Getting hit too much damage, he has Akuma health. Well, then they'll get the OTG sets up again. And just for anybody that has not seen the shell before, really the win condition, if you look at the life bar, Sentinel really hasn't gotten hit cleanly that much. It's all chip. Strider's so good at generating that damage. Yeah. Yeah, he's using that bomb. So that bomb right there, even if he does like cable goes for hyper viper beam, the bomb will interrupt the hyper viper beam. So which is why he's mm -hmm. doing it. Bye bye. <laughs> See, just like that. <laughs> Oh man, both of them come out at the same time though. Back to neutral. Yeah, there's Providence. so many weird, weird interactions right there. That bomb was really, really good. He gets a spiral, and this is fine because Doctor Doom can just like, he's like Marvel Three, where it's like if he's fighting a bad matchup, his whole point of it is to stall, stall and yes. build meter for your, for your anchor character, right? So it's very, very similar play styles in this regard.
Yeah, he's able to lay it out there. I mean, having a good assist behind him as well to be able to enable him to feel like he can just kind of super jump. Iron Man covers pretty much the entirety of normal jump at that range. So, dude, looking good. Yeah. I mean, Steven's playing a really good team. Mm -hmm. um, and the prop, But the problem is that it's just really hard to pilot. Because I, I, we talked about earlier, I, I think of this as like, you know, if, if Marvel 3 has Morgan, then Marvel 2 has Spyro. Right, they both kind of do the same thing, throw projectiles, spam, and everything. But the problem is the swords do no damage. They also don't do a lot of chip damage as well, too. So they all do, like, one point of chip damage. So because of that, like, you're working a lot harder to just keep pressing, you know, throwing these swords over and over, recharging the swords over and over again. So sometimes you get discouraged. You just you do all this work, and then you get hit once, and you're like, well, what happened? Oh, shouts Raph, by the way, coming through with a $10 contribution to that match arena. Thank you very, very much, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. And we got a yeah. switch up here of assists. So we're going to go Captain Commando here, which can be tough against rocks. Obviously, it can interrupt it, as we've already seen once. Yeah. The, the, also, the, the thing is, it's it's actually okay for Prominence because if, if he has, since he's using Strider Doom, the fact mm -hmm. that he's going to say, well, he calls out Commando, but gets that, that works out a little bit. Strider Doom actually blows up commando assist like mm -hmm. normally like if you're getting sandwich if commando comes out the rocks will beat the commando assist at the same time you can see there trying to apply some good pressure in and out a little bit commando a touch too far but again rocks still doing a great job nice conversion right there he's gonna get the <laughs> infinite here yeah normal jump right here he's gonna be able to close it out without spending any bar but drops anyway but you know what this is this is game he's gonna cancel the orbs Try to get, try to get, yep, Commando. This is the, the new infinite. <laughs> That's such a cool infinite right there. So cool. Yeah, because it resets. Like, none of that combo. So it all kind of like reset damage, reset assist, and reset OTG as well, too. Dude, fire stuff showing off even more of the new tech here. And honestly, for Steven, I feel like we should probably go back, if not just because of the assist, but just that it, I don't know, Commando didn't feel like he really did much the assist whether it was spiral or it was sentinel on point never really got to have an impact no yeah definitely not i think like you should go back to uh spiral cable sentinel or if anything spiral cable cyclops would be a better choice just because mm -hmm. cyclops will just blow up dr doom every single time you call him out Your move. all right let's see iron man does have the first attack glitch so he will win this exchange right here that's why you see him that's why you see spiral jumping back yes Get involved in that interaction. There. Yep. Sorry, cancel right there for the push block. Yep. Smart bombs. Staying the fly in the air. Meet shield Iron Man trying to build as much bar as possible. Yeah, these smart bombs are cooking. Yeah, smart bombs. Such a good projectile. It doesn't even need an input either, which is really, really nice. Just two buttons to be able to chuck it out. And you can see, again, since it's so slow moving, it's able to buy a lot of room afterwards and call the assist. Yep. Yeah, when you're in flight mode, you can definitely call your assist. It's for, it's for, it, it counts to you as normal jump mode. But if you super jump, mm -hmm. you obviously can't call your assist. Very similar to Marvel 3. What? The triple team? That was so much meter. You know, that, that kind of worked out not bad, actually. Raw Almost. Tags, Doom, yeah, but he's going to cancel the orbs. Raw tags in the Sentinel. And Sentinel's going to have to take all this bar right here. And this is at least three more orbs right here. Three more orbs, and if he gets hit, that's gonna be four more orbs because he builds so much meter during the situation, during this trap, and you can't push block that many times. And now finds the low on the slide, gets a great amount of damage off of that, lands, and is able to block at least. Yeah, triple team, but he has another orb anyway, so yeah, can summon orbs again, and one more bar as well to spend. Throw tigers, eagles, oh my. Yeah, things just not getting any easier, dude. Builds up the extra bar for one more orb if he wants, but he's gonna just try and fight it out and save that meter. Yeah, because Spiral can just teleport her. She has a one frame mm -hmm. teleport, so it's really easy for her to just kind of mash it. Yeah, this gonna side switch infinite. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. So there are a lot of ways to easily get into the Iron Man infinite, and surprisingly, Raw Tag is one of them. <laughs> Yeah, the, the thing about that one, the raw tag, is that he has Strider. So if he opens you up, he just always goes for the raw tag or Iron Man. It's, it's a yes. really sick combo, combination, actually. The top tiers, man, fight it out. Come on.
Yeah, I, I get. I think it's like if you're fighting against Magneto, Storm, or Cable, people will fight it out. But if it's like yeah. if they just see Senno, they're like because Senno is really like like um he reminds me of Elena in Street Fighter Four in terms of like how good his matchups are, mm-hmm. where he just eight twos, nine one, ten zero, like. There's no yeah. chance for you to win. Like, you know, we have Magneto and Cable as the top tiers, Storm as top tier, but the, some of the mid tier characters can, like, get a chance to fight against those. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, if I have a chance to fight against them. But if you're fighting Sentinel, you actually cannot, like, if you really want to be lame, you can't beat them at all. Like, it's actually a 10 0 matchup mm-hmm. because the camera, this, the camera in this game prioritizes whoever's on the higher ground. So if yes. Sentinel's just flying and holding up back and you're Ryu, you can't chase them. Literally, you could just, can... just hold up back and just press stay and light kick because it goes literally half screen and it chips you out and it can confirm it's a light kick, light kick, rocket punch, and you just cannot stop that because your character can't reach that specific arc. It's just insane. No, it's <laughs> definitely tough. We're gonna see our first Magneto here coming out. Magneto Storm with the Cyclops, actually, though. So leaving yeah. behind the Psy Blade, gonna go with the uh, the Gene Splice instead. No, oh, he's using Cyclone Kick, so he's use, he's having oh. the third assist. Yeah, because Cyclops with Gene Splice, he can do uh, short, short Gene, uh, short, short Cyclone Kick. Oh, true, and the double snap. A A A. There you go. Yeah, yeah this is uh, I match buttons. Uh, his other name is called Go for Broke. And he plays, he's, his main team is MSP, but he's been playing MSC a lot with Cyclone Kick a lot. Mm-hmm. So he's, he's enjoying this pressure right here with Cyclone Kick. And Cyclone Kick is a really good assist. It just doesn't have the invincibility, obviously, compared to like Gene Splice or anything. But it's easier to confirm with Cyclone Kick versus Gene Splice. Oh, found it again. Goes straight back into the ROM. Hypergraph Tempest. Oh, he drops it, but you know what? Cancels in the Hailstorm regardless to fix the combo. And we got Cyclone click again into the standing infinite. Oh, we just freestyle with everybody today. Oh, my. I respect it. Sick stuff to finish there. Cyclone kick. Not what I was expecting to see, but like you said, worked out well. Short, short Cyclone kick, of course. I mean, short, short snap is something you see with Magneto all the time to be able to confirm and get the double snap. So this gives you even more time and more potential. I like that. Oh, yeah, it does. It does. Because if Gene Spice hits you with Magneto, uh, it pops you in the air randomly. It's yeah. very hard for Magneto to convert off of that. Mm-hmm. So this, so usually a lot of Magneto players, if they're going to pick Cyclops, they kind of like to go for the Cyclone kick. But we got the counter pick, though, with MSP, because this is a counter pick technically, because if you think about it, Cyblade will blow up Cyclone kick. And if it was the other way around with Gene Splice, Gene Splice would beat Psyblade. So this this is the I would say the assist counter pick. Is there anything more iconic than two Magnetos floating chest to chest into each other, bro? It's just it makes me feel something. Bro, all I know is <laughs> I'm calling Go for Broke out on this. I was telling him about how Magneto players are scumbags, right? Because if if it's gonna be a Magneto versus Magneto player, they always like to like stay full screen or avoid the first attack. He definitely uh, started the he definitely started the round with backdash. Yep. <laughs> so he is a scumbag because he technically like kinda lied to me. So I'm just gonna call him out on that one. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, a little insider trading here gets the full confirm. Reset time. Ooh. No overhead. Oh yeah, so fast. Cyclone kick. Yeah, the, Yep, cancel the hailstorm. There's gonna be a big punish and takes out Psylocke though. Now it's just lonely Magneto. Lonely Magneto. I mean, he can get, he could definitely get the job done, but it's just really tough. I actually kind of like the Cyclone Kick now. It's pretty nice. Restands. Yeah, we talk, we were talking about restands, and that's a good restand. Okay, looking super clean. Was like able to get the uh, the double try jump to make it work out here. Two games in a row. Is he gonna be able to lock down another one? Yeah. Just know that, guys. We we have proof that my man did not fight the first attack. He backdash. Come on, why he backdash? Fight it out. There's already a there's already a clip. Chat's on it. There. Yeah, I want to see the Magneto versus Magneto fight it out. Don't run away. What are you doing? <laughs> oh god. So let's see it. I mean, gonna switch back to Thrax. Let's see if it works out for him. I'm gonna start that Sentinel as well. Yeah, let's go for the stand jab right there. 
And that's the thing, like, so you see how Seno able to backdash that? He's holding two back and two punches during the first attack glitch, and that's how you activate the, the backdash on the first frame possible. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, yo, Cyclops. He is bleeding. Keeps the flight, though. Backs on out. I mean, the Sentinel looking strong right now. Takes the hit on the beam, but because it was an air hit, couldn't get the rocket punch. Yeah, this is really hard because Sentinel is just so good against, like, Magneto with no anti assist. And that's why you see Char Goblin. He's like, bro, you only have Cyclone Click, so I don't have to worry about an anti air just randomly clipping me into an infinite. So that's why you yeah. see him just being really, really aggressive in this situation. Oh, stomp, stomps. I mean, execution looking on point, but unfortunately, just the spacing wasn't there. Yeah, I, th I think right now, Charlie needs to find a way to build two bars or alpha counter right here to bring in Storm because you do not want Sentinel to die right here. Nice fly combo. Uh oh, yeah, that was normal jump. Can't really get capitalization off of that one. Punish. Yeah. Nice block. Ooh, tries to open him up, though. Ooh, that super jump short to actually save your boy was kind of sick, though. Yeah, really good button presses from Charlie's there. No button pressing on I mash, though, which is nice. Maybe EM Disruptor, Hailstorm again? Yep. Classic. Yep. Raw tag! Oh, doesn't get a punish because Storm was in the animation of the Typhoon. Uh, Magneto's life starting to dwindle a bit here. You see, you try to build some meter, trying to be safe. Short, short cyclone kick. It's too good. Yeah, he, but he misses the infinite. It's going to trade for both characters, though. Storm and Magneto will. Oh, no, he just put down. Commando took the hit with the shockwave. <gasps> Raw tag, which is. It worked out. Oh, look at that. Throw into corridor. Did so much damage, but I mash buttons. Almost has two. Oh, doesn't even need it. Doesn't work out regardless. Tries to go for the unblockable right there, but misses it. Oh, lucky that was a trade there. The heavy punch in the air would have been able to set up for the infinite. Upward rocket punch for the punish. Yep, yep. Oh my god. One more chip damage, possibly, with short Anna Fears in the corridor. We probably would have killed. Oh my god, you said the chip damage. I'm telling you, the chip damage is crazy. <laughs> oh my god, and then the tri jump. But he wakes up with a throw. Captain Commando with the taser. Yeah. I match buttons had the win there, but he did the wrong combo. So you saw how he did launch mm -hmm. into roundhouse right there. Um, the reason why it spiked down was because if you land anything like two hits before you do your launch, it'll count as a flying screen on the next like knockdown hit if you press fierce or roundhouse. Because mm -hmm. normally the combo you want to do at that storm in the corner is you do launch, heavy kick, air dash down, heavy kick, and get like lots of heavies in that combo. But because yeah. he did try jump short short and it hit, and he tried a combo, it doesn't work that way. Mm. It's another tough situation here. Charlie, we're back in this. The Sentinel start has been working out well. Yeah. Most for the neutral jump this time. It's nice. Cyclone kick. Oh, with the double yep. snap. This might be game. It's really hard to make a comeback here, especially if it's sent Storm versus Magneto in a full team with Cyclone kick. So the offense is about to be crazy. Nice, good runaway right here. We need to get rid of Magneto as soon as possible. The hit didn't want to go for the DHC though. Oh my, I cannot believe that just picks him straight out of the air. And a hypergrav. Yolo hypergrav is very, very good in this game. Nice Tempest right there. And that's a really hard Tempest right there. To mash out, you can mash out, but in the corner, for some reason, I don't know why. I don't know what the property is, but. It's just hard. You have less chances to mash out of Tempest when you get Hypergrab Tempest in the corner. Mm -hmm. Yep, goes for the chip damage right here. Mash. Oh, kills Storm in the process and gets into the ROM. Yeah, Nooch, yep, go for the normal jump. Easy, infinite. It's way easier to ROM a character like Sentinel compared to, like, let's say, a character you're fighting against, like Magneto or Cable. Went for the reset there, is able to finish it. The DHC doesn't want to leave it to the Tempest. Instead, it's just going to be the three meters spent to close it out. I mash buttons. Looking good, man. Oh, yeah. He, he's definitely one of the, the guys that's been grinding a lot. I think he's also a Grandmaster on... Um, on yeah, Grandmaster in, in the rank mode. So he's been playing sweaty. I've been running into him also a lot on rank match. We're going to go with the MSP counter pick just because... Okay. Uh, that means we're decided to play sweaty. 
One of I the forget. best MSP in the business right here. And then this is lo Lockdown's job, you know, Sentinel Strider Doom. His goal with Sentinel is to really build meter for Strider. Just because he can take all these hits. Yep, that's how you counter Shockwave right there. Call your assist and let them take the hit of the Shockwave and it just fly straight through. Oh, that was a sick confirm off the stray air hit. Almost got both. It's just going to go into the round for Sentinel, though. Didn't want to be greedy and try and get two. Yeah, can't, can't mash out here, but misses the infinite, though. The rest of it. And Sentinel gets the, able to get out here. Nice block. And a blow. Yep, summon the orbs. Look at this. All this chip damage right here. Nice side blade. Yo, go Tigers. Tigers. Eagles. Oh, my. Look at this. And he didn't want to summon the orbs there. He just decided to just, like, chill out. And let Magneto let the Magneto approach first before getting a hit. But here we're gonna kill Sano though. Okay, he sets up for the orbs and he's gonna go for the point man. Not just gonna try and juggle the Psylocke. No, I like that, no. especially with the amount of meter you have. I like that. Yeah, yeah, you have to go for Storm right now because Storm is such a hard counter just right because she can fly, she can float, she can stall, she can out go off the screen with lightning attack. So you need to make sure your trap is on point as Strider. Oh, gets opened up though. Crouching heavy kick. I'll oh, see. I would have crouching heavy kick there. Oh, couldn't quite get the interrupt though. Had an opportunity to jump. Only just gets the normal jump. Psylocke comes in, gets the teleport to get out though. That was sick. Yeah, that because that was a guard break attempt. And Shrider's gonna be able to teleport here. No, he doesn't teleport here. Here we go with the orbs. Mm -hmm. All this raw damage. Look at this. You feel it? Yeah, that's the bomb. You have to protect the bomb. I miss the orbs again. The doom rocks. I love the backdash away because you know the alpha counter with Psyblade is coming. Strider looking like he's top tier for sure. Yeah, I'll say at this point, definitely looking clean. As you said, it was a tough situation as soon as we lost out on the Sentinel there, but everything ends up working out in the end. Lockdown's too strong on it. Yeah, the one thing I would say is that that people haven't been doing against Lockdown is that there's, there's little places where he summons orbs and when you summon the orbs, obviously you got to have to deal with it no matter what, because, yeah. because the orb is going to be a, a, an active hitbox act, and it's just like going around a circle. But there's there's a there's a little sweet spot when he activates, you can hit them, and because he has mm -hmm. Akuma health, you need to get these little stray hits sometimes, especially when he's activating orbs right in front of your face. So there was that one situation where Storm could just trade with him with crouching heavy kick, and then from that trade you can get out of the trap because you traded the hits. Mm -hmm. But you got to look for little stuff like that if you're fighting against uh, a Strider Doom player. Meter getting built up well for both players so far, though. G Concepts trying to close that distance. I thought he was going to go for the DAT, but Storm was actually out. Yeah, yeah. he, he, he kind of did that just to pretty much reset neutral. Mm -hmm. As Tempest goes full screen away, it just hits everywhere. Sometimes you can't tell where it's going to hit. And he's going to activate orbs here. Can't do anything about that. Gets hit by the instant double hit overhead. Knockdown. Snapback. Sick. That was actually a cool setup. Guard break. Ooh, launcher into the dog. Oh, keeper that locked out. Gets the clean hit. Psylocke. This is bad. Okay. Goes for more orbs right there. Yeah, this time he blo he finally blocks the, just the second hit of the overhead. So now I think um, Lockdown is going to mix it up with the, the high and lows. Miss Orb traps her down. She's able to run away. Oh, I love that tag into Sentinel because now Strider doesn't have enough bars. So Sentinel is going to definitely be the, the meat shield to build bar. Misses the unfly though. But now we're going to bring in Magneto, rush him down. You have to open him up. Misses the dash though. Yeah, that crouching fear is not what you wanted to see. Has to block the doom afterwards. Nice block. Inst tries to go for instant overhead. Holds up back here. Mm -hmm. Yep, the camera. See how the camera just flies? The camera just prioritizes Seno because he's on the upper ground. Oh, yep. Came across up, little, little hailstorm. Nice. It doesn't miss it to finish the combo. The Doom Rocks has three bars. Side Blade. Yeah, Side Blade saving a lot of headache there. Gonna try and go for the chip. Alpha Counter, super smart. Yeah, I would just run away at this point. Just run away, build two bars if you can. Push block in the air. Yep, push block in the air. Oh, punish that! Okay. Nice! That's gonna <laughs> kill both characters. And you're gonna get the, the happy birthday. No, doesn't get it! You're definitely gonna juggle Dr. Doom. And there it is, the down forward heavy kick. Goes into the Doom sent DAC, and that's gonna kill. And look at this. He can set up the unblockable here for both characters. One more time. 
Oh, drops it, but I mean, he did his job. He killed Magneto, which is important. Oh, nice conversion though. Super still not quite enough. Just looking for Chip at this point. 10 seconds on the clock. Yeah, he needs to kill Seno ASAP. Go for the Tiger Knee. Goes for the Side Blade. Yeah, just dash. Oh, here we go. Four seconds. Oh, just in time. Even if he gets hit, it's not going to be enough. Doesn't matter. Time is, is a factor here. Yeah, that was such a smart super, being able to do that, stall yourself in the air just long enough. Dude, that's, that was so, that was a really great match right there. And Lockdown is playing so good because MSP is a really is a true counter to this team, I would say. But mm -hmm. Lockdown is able to hold it down, and his trap is so good, right? Because theoretically, if you think about it, if you have a perfect trap, it's really hard to get out. Yeah, and I think a lot of it, too, comes down to, like you said, Sentinel is doing his job, which is one of the most important things for this team. He's being such an effective battery. He's not getting hit with any of these weird double snap shenanigans. He's yep. being able to get the meter, get outs cleanly. And like you said, Sentinel playing world class right now when he is able to get in. Mm -hmm. I blade. Oh, I guess the OTG this time. Let's see if we're going to finish the combo right here because he could definitely kill, walk him down, Hypergraph Tempest loop all day. And let's see if Lockdown can mash out. Does not get the mash out. It's just so hard to mash out Hypergraph Tempest in the corner. Yeah, unfortunate here. Similar situation that we've seen already. Woo! Happy birthday. He's going to be able to hit. Ha yep, ha Hailstorm right here. That's, that might kill both characters. Almost, though. And yeah, this round's a bust. Mm. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> those rounds are definitely going to happen, too. I mean, MSP, it's that type of team. Well, <laughs> when we watch Marvel 3, we say zero games. Oh, and you watch this game. MSP, sometimes they're going to find that hit. They're going to rush you down. It's just Magneto gets out of control in a hurry. Yeah, it's you're def It's definitely one of those games, like zero games, that's a Magneto game. You just you accept that at that point. You're like, yeah, that oh, yeah. happens. It happens, right? It happens. Can it happen two more times in a row, though? Hey, listen, if you can get one, you can get three. It's just that easy. Yeah, the good the thing about it is like if he's able to get the hit on Magne on Sentinel first, then he theoretically should be able to win there because of the hypergraph tempest, guard break, kill strider, and then now it's just Dr. Doom left, right? Oh, here we go. Got the hit right away too. Oh, drops the combo though. Had to push Buck, still had some amount of advantage though. Sentinel. Another lease on life gets knocked down again, though. Good block on the double overhead. Yeah. Oh, gets a double snap, and that's big. He's going to kill Dr. Doom, and Strider is going to come in next with no Dr. Doom, as and he has to take this guard break. Oh, misses it. This is the jab launch. Got a little bit too greedy there. Okay, blocks this overhead. Typhoon right there. Just take, yeah, at this point, you just want to take the trade. Oh, yeah, Strider has a weird small hitbox that yeah, yeah, it just doesn't. Sometimes his, his hit, hitting hitting him doesn't work sometimes. No, oh, yeah, and plus, I mean, drones is a cool assist for Strider, and he uses it well. But you lose out on a lot of the different things that you can go for for the traps. Plus, you lose out on your main threat, which is that the chip damage goes down significantly if you're not making him block rocks. Yeah. Oh my God, that almost was a double snap on lo lockdown side. Yeah, he's trying to snipe in Sentinel, try to kill Sentinel as soon as possible. And that's going to be game right here. The damage? No, that was a whack mash. Come on, man. Y'all need to step <laughs> your mash game up. Like, I would have definitely chip Seno out at that, at that point. <laughs> oh, dude. You saw how short that hailstorm was? That was really yeah, short, right? Like, there was true. that was a drizzle. That was... <laughs> that was straight oh drizzle. God. Oh, my God. You... You didn't even need, you didn't even need that, ex that exchange for like, oh, let me just rush him down. You could have just killed him with the chip damage. Hey, that gets us two to two, though. We're very, very close on this one. Can Lockdown Maintainers G Concepts going to get the full run back to reverse 3 0? Maybe. I mean, MSP, I mean, like you said, it can happen three times. If he gets the clean hit, it will be like literally like rinse and repeat. Oh, he tries to go for a forward dash. Brave. He thought maybe Sendo was going to go for a back dash right there. Open the Typhoon right there. Yeah. Typhoons are also really good to stop kind of like Doom in neutral. Mm -hmm. But Lockdown's not going to... Yeah, Lockdown will always call Dr. Doom when you approach. Uh-oh. But he only has one orb here. Oh, but he's going to get another one because of he got hit. 
Oh, the Tigers, Eagles, oh my, look at this chip damage. Now you gotta get Magneto out, maybe Psyblade, yep. And then you're probably gonna try to find an opportunity to get out as soon as possible. Oh, that empty low was super clean though, gets the tag, actually calls Orb, see, he low profiles it, Strider's so small. Yep. Ooh, look at that, string him up. Nice push block, push block again. But you gotta take all this orbs. You see how the orbs just stay in front of in front of him. The rocks also stay in front of him. That's that's cheap. Okay, using that float, just trying to stay off the ground as best you can. Gets the punish on the lightning attack. Nice. Okay, now G Con somehow needs to land a Psylocke super, like actually a hit, but it's not gonna be able to chance. He has one more shot. Oh, he gets hit. It's just Lonely Magneto. Can Lonely Magneto do this? This is a guard break here? No, it doesn't go to guard break. It's going to chip damage. And that is going to be it. Locked down. He didn't get a chance to play. Hey, living up to the name on that one. I mean, like you said, if Sentinel's able to build a meter, if Stridle's able to get in cleanly, the rounds could just get completely out of the water. And it is. Oh, that's right. Marks as rich as Chris Matrix. So Chris Matrix will be... Is it? Playing. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember. I'm like, what? why does the name sound so familiar? I just couldn't... I couldn't, like, you know, put it together. But yeah, Marks as rich as Chris Fire. Matrix. <laughs> Dude, he's on his Smurf? <laughs> He's on his Smurf account. So it could be very problematic because he could go into the infinite and not let you play 300% game, right? Oh, just finds the instant overhead, though. Can't convert it into anything. This is closed. Got to be careful. Yeah, you see, as soon as he calls his doom, he gets that one normal and he goes for the super jump. He knows Cyclops is coming. Yep. That goes for Smart Bomb right there. But look at that, Dr. Doom bleeding. And, if, and that's the one thing about why Storm is so good against characters like Strider Doom shells. Because if you call Dr. Doom assist, her Hailstorm does so much damage against Dr. Doom because he has a fat, this fat hitbox. Yeah, that boy's thick for sure. <laughs> yeah, he is thick. So he's taking all these hails. Look at that. Good snipe. Oh. Yeah, but doesn't have meter to point the finger though. But look at Prominence meter side. Yep, able to get Strider here. Forces the rope. Oh, but Prominence does a, a preemptive teleport there. And come the on, Gene bro. splice into the hailstorm. Yeah, that was a come on, that was a whack match. I would have killed Doctor Doom there. <laughs> like for reals, come on, man. Is that our takeaway from this tournament? People got You got to be stop being stingy with your buttons, man. You can replace no. them. <laughs> yeah, he was dead. Yeah, light, lighting attack out. Gene Splice, yeah, Gene Splice is so good against against Strider Doom. Nice, good, good guard break conversion. Yeah, turns into a kill as well. Iron Man, the last one coming in. Oh, this is unfortunate here. They're gonna take a bit of chip off of that one. Try to control some of this space, but with no assist behind you and Cyclops on the other side, this is this is tough. Yeah, mm, yeah. Go for a little missile in front of the face. I think that was a push block attempt, but worked out. But this time, lightning attack, lightning attack. But does it get the super? But one more hailstorm should do it here. Yeah, gets caught super jumping, gets pushed straight back to the ground. Marks is rich, looking good. Game one out of the way. Mm -hmm. And really, I feel like mostly off the back of, like you said, using that hailstorm effectively to be able to snipe the assist. And Doom, honestly and truly, just kind of bled out before he got to be a factor. Yeah, it's just, it's just really tough because if you're playing Iron Man and you're trying to chase the character down, it just makes it really hard because you're, you're relying on Doctor Doom somehow helping you. So if you're a storm where you your freedom is literally the whole map, the whole the whole stage, you can literally do hailstorm any single time because Iron Man can't stop you from doing hailstorm besides doing smart bombs, and even then it's 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 just a, it's a good trade for storm regardless. Try to go for the dash round punish against that. And right now I think Prominence he, he's trying to get the yep now he has unfly so if he does land a hit. He can go from air to ground. Oh, clean with the launcher though. Tries to go in for the low. Resets it with the same situation. Always go for the legs. I like it. Yeah, always go for the leg. I mean, either way, try jump and low is pretty much almost like a 50-50 at that point. Mm -hmm. Oh, he is not getting a chance to play. He's trying to get his traps off. Nice, using the gram right there. Nice push block in the air. 
Perhaps not looking good using the Eagles. Ooh. And that was really smart from Chris. Usually most people would probably cancel on a super with Sentinel, but Chris did not go for that super with Sentinel because if he went for the super, he would have got into the Sentinel infinite. Oh no, Sakov's taking a grip off of that one here. Still stuck in the corner. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, summon the rocks in the end, and that's how you make the trap more tight. Raw tags, goes into the raw launch. He's going to have to take against that instant overhead. Nice instant overhead block. Probably tried to call Cyclops, but was that was probably a true meaty there. Almost! That, was, that would have been huge. Yeah. Nice block. Eagles. Yep, Hailstorm. Look at that bomb. Oh, he had the block. Oh, that's nice defense, though. Dude, crispy stuff. Dr. Doom comes in. Going to try and build a little bit of bar for himself here. And like you said, stall things out. Difficult against Storm, though. But Butter Gun gets the knockdown. Mm -hmm. Yep. Canceling the orbs. And you're going to have to be stuck here. And this, you have the alpha counter. Um, but she goes down. Wow, that's tricky with the teleport. Sets up the orbs once again. Goes for the reset. Sandwich him. Behold, and it's a punish. The snipe out with the Cyclops super hits. Hurry up, time's running out. Yeah. Chris Matrix trying to probably build two bars here to get the DAC. Tries to launch. Go. I know, yeah. And this is close, actually. Oh, super. Yep, that's going to hit. And it's going <gasps> to almost hit Cyclops, and he's going to do it again. Cyclops can't avoid this. Yeah, I mean, one. even if you're far away, it does so much when you're close. But when you're far away, that still does a decent amount of chip on that super. Looking strong. Yeah. And yeah, even if even if it's against Seno and you do it from far away, it'll do a lot just because all the photon rays will pretty much target Seno because he's, he's such a tall character, right? So it's really yeah. hard for him to avoid. And one to one here, pretty and pretty competitive. And, was, and now I felt like that was all Strider. Like Iron Man, we haven't seen Iron Man do anything yet in these two games. Yeah, honestly and truly, he just has not gotten to participate. It's felt like for sure. Let's see if we can go a little better this time. I mean, again, the idea is there, and we've just it just hasn't been able to. I don't know. I, I maybe it's just the way that Matrix is. His neutral's been pulled up pretty well, right? Yeah, it's just like I said, it's just hard for Iron Man to catch, to catch Storm, because literally his neutral is like smart bomb. Yep, smart bomb. absolutely. Plus, I mean, if you have meter, you can just be able to snipe it just like that. As you find yourself in the air too long, nice conversion. Yeah, with the raw tag. Oh, okay, I like this. Oh, it doesn't get the cancel, but gets the cancel this time around. It's both characters. Uh-oh. It's gonna hit Cyclops. But you know what? Storm's able to run away, so that's I think that's completely fine. Yeah, it didn't do too much to the assist there. Locked down with the Doom, sets up the orb, gets yeah, the has, hit. Yeah, has the alpha counter right there. Using the repulsive blast, but repulsive blast doesn't work out as a true anti-air. Dean Splice tries to go for the maybe don't block it right there. Oh, infinite. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what a snipe with that. Strider. Okay, keep the, it rolling. Yeah, look at all the raw damage. Look how much damage it is. And that was all from resets, too. <gasps> Actually broke the bomb, though. Couldn't quite get what we were looking for. Bit of chip there on the hailstorm. Orbs. Yep. Yeah, throws the orbs out, gets the rings, but you know, Chris was so good at waiting and push blocking at the top of the screen. But he's not gonna be able to push block this one though. So he has the alpha counter out with Gene Splice. Yep, save Storm. The Cyclops is, could do a good runaway because he has a double jump, able to build bar really, really fast as well, too. And you can see just push blocking whenever appropriate, trying to get some room. Does manage to get it. Okay, nice. Goes for a knockdown. Baits out the Gene Splice. Because he knows if a Gene Splice hits Strider, it would kill him. Can Canceling into super. Chip damage. Goes in the Hailstorm. Nice. But 25 seconds left on the clock, though. 
Yeah, whole team's low, but I mean, I was just going to say you still have an opportunity because you have the whole shell, but everything falls apart in a hurry. Cyclops, ah, oh, this just might be it, man. Yeah, it's definitely it because Strider has one more bar as well, too. Yeah, Strider's doing all the work. Like, you know, I like I said, I, it's oh, kind of yeah. like very similar to, to Lockdown's team where instead of Sentinel, it's just Iron Man and Iron Man's just... Uh, you know, his goal is to try to try to land the infinite, but a lot of times if you're smart enough, you just kind of avoid it. The problem is is just really carrying so hard with his strider trap. His strider trap is so unique because it's like not the same as lockdowns. Obviously, you can see prominence. He goes for a lot more of the bird bombs versus lockdown where he re he relies more on calling doom at the end of his string to reactivate orbs again. Okay. Yeah, he's he's trying to fish for these hits. Does he get the unfly? Doesn't get the unfly right there. After smart bomb, not much else. That's it. Oh, almost got the hit. That could have been big. <laughs> it's so dangerous. Do not approach Iron Man in the air. It's so crazy that every single touch could just be your entire game. Everything could just, your tournament run and winners could just be over. But again, Hailstorm hits. And again, Iron Man just not going to get to participate. Oh, he guessed wrong on that one. He went low. Goes for the bubble. Easy. Yep. Easy DAC for the damage output. And, and this is going to be a tall order for Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom against Sentinel. It's very tough. Obviously, he has Butter Gun to kind of avoid it, but... You know, you know, to him, that tickles. Seno has so much health that it does not even matter. Mm. Yeah, this, this should be a punish here. Doesn't get a proper punish. Oh, dude, but the jump heavy punch, so sick. Gets the high and actually a sick gobble there with the flight. Marxist Rich back in it once again. A game five between them. Bro, 2-2? Two, two? Uh-oh. 2-2. Two, two. Hmm. What's going to be the opening gambit? I think this time around, Promise is going to go for a try jump at the start of the game. You think so? You think he's going to bet it all? Yeah, because I think at this point, he has conditioned Chris Matrix to like to not press a button on incoming or like he has to block. So I think he's going for a try jump. But it, the beginning of Iron Man's try jump, it's not as fast as Storm and Magneto. So you mm -hmm. can react to it. So it's up to Chris to see if he can react accordingly. Ooh, go to the roundhouse, the starter. Safe option. The safer option. I guess game five. Yeah, I mean, playing reserved. Not what you... I feel like not what you want to see at this point, though. We've seen the reserved stuff, and it just hasn't been working out. Not to take, like you said, take some risks, man. Yeah, especially the start of the game. It's not like Storm. Storm cannot kill you right away. Mm -hmm. But he, he can make your assist bleed, though. Look at the assist. And that Iron Man is going to go down. He's gonna be—he's not gonna get a guard break, but he'll get Oki here. That was a sick dash under, great block again for prominence. But the high low—you just can't block forever. Oh, almost was able to kill Doctor Doom there. Yeah, has to summon the orbs. Uh oh, that's a lot of orbs, baby. Yeah, this could, this honestly should be able to grind down Storm. Good spacing to get away from the Cyclops, but she manages to get away and get the Typhoon off. There's a sandwich. That sandwich is so good. Because look, stuck in the corner, able to teleport out, side switch, goes into the orb again, has to take this, goes for the slide. Nice, gonna hit both parties. Summons the orbs again. Hey, he can't alpha counter into Sendo, because Sendo will go into, into infinite. But the Cyclops hits a nice block on the high low right there. Okay, gets the DHC out. Dr. Doom still trying to recover that life as best he can. How can we set up for another orbs without just breaking the bank at this point? Yeah, taking all these hits right here. Yeah, goes to the raw tag, but the unfly. Oh man, he could have killed, but still gets the kill anyway. And this is a tall order for promise. This might be game. All the chip damage. Every normal Sentinel does. Every action does chip damage. Ooh. <gasps> no, okay. There's no way. Yeah, <laughs> look, there's no way. <laughs> There was no if, if he somehow made the comeback, that would have been the the best comeback in history. 
Dude, the strider. I mean, he had so much meter too, but you just can't, uh, you can't get nearly as effective of a lockdown there without having your assist. The homies are required to be able to get the, uh, the tried and true stuff to get that chip and be able to loop it effectively. All right, let's see. I'm curious to see the matchup. I, I really do think it's gonna be MSP. I'll be surprised if he goes to team row personally. Mm. Yep, storm first. Magneto. I think he's looking. He's waiting to see if he's gonna pick Cyclops. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely, he is. <laughs> this is when mid characters like they're like, hey, T.O., double blind. <laughs> Dude, I mean, this is a game where you need definitely blind picks for sure. Because oh, yeah. the counter picks for meta is just like, you know, like now in modern fighting games, you know, we have winnable matchups, you know, like mm -hmm. even though it's a bad matchup, but in these older games, it can be brutal. But he goes with Cyclops. Oh okay. my god, and it's working out well. Gets in the commando right away and finds the hit, but there's a little bit of a punish. Yeah, just, you see how commando goes for the punish and just doesn't get the punish? Yep. <laughs> okay, gets that though. We get him out of here. Nice, good block around house. Dude, you know, I really do like the cycle hit because it really does pin you down for a really long time where Magneto has an option to go for high low mix up again. Yeah, just like that. I mean, if your movement is on point, just hit on commando. Just goes raw launcher. I love that the roundhouse, such a good normal. Yeah, defensive decision right there. Look at that combo. Nice block on that one. And that's the problem with cyclone kick. Commando becomes the better assist in this situation. Raw tag, make, oh, I thought maybe a trade, but Magneto takes the trade hit for Storm. That's Bay. Oh, yeah. It's hard to open up Sendo with, with Storm because of the super armor. Mm -hmm. Like Even if you hit low, like he has a point of super armor that he can react to and then block low back. I just say he has so much time on everything, man. <laughs> yeah. Push him out again. Nice bait. I mean, one more bad commando call, and he's just done for it. As we almost get him, yeah, absolutely. The hailstorm doesn't hit him, though. Yeah, Mike Infinite is going to probably tag out. It's probably going to stall a little bit with maybe hailstorms, but I like the, the tag out from, from Go For Broke. The, that was really good. Bringing Cyclops, let Cyclops be the meat shield, run away, and charge, charge meter in the process. Because if he does call commando, I feel like maybe we'll see a snipe here. Oh, no. You, I don't think you can punish it though. Yeah, no way you can punish that. A little bit too far. Able to punish this one for sure though. Yep, simple and easy there on the finish. Yeah, go for both doesn't have any meter here. Now both of them don't, so they're probably gonna maybe stall, run away, or maybe Mike might just rush down. Yeah, I feel like just. Try to close this as best you can. Got to be careful, though. Hailstorm comes through again. Chip really starting to add up. Both of them broke at this point, but the jumping fear is not going to make it matter. No triangle jump. Yeah, just run away a little bit. Nice block on the try jump again. Good trade. EM Disruptor trying to snipe out. Mike Infinite running away. Six seconds left on the clock. Oh! I don't know. There's, no, no, there's not enough time. No, I don't think so. Yeah, not enough time. Just holding jump back, up back. Doesn't matter. Time over, bro. I love time overs in this game. It's kind of hype, especially if it's a good match. No, uh, definitely agreed. Especially with uh, characters like Magneto are able to make comebacks pretty quickly because, I mean, you saw that combo route he did at the end. The launch fierce, fierce, uh, like, roundhouse. That's yep. a lot of damage in a hurry. You can just go for resets and try and, like, get yeah, confirm into that over and over again and get their characters really fast yeah fierce fierce roundhouse is so good and it gives him <laughs> the high low guess again so yep <laughs> but here we go there this is the team i think the the this is why i think three out of five exists i think he thought oh three out of five i could try a cyclops see what happened mm. oh it doesn't work like we're gonna go with msp this is the goku and vegeta of the game right now yeah that was a misinput on his end for sure Oh, the hypergrav! The hypergrav has been sniping. He he's really good at with the hypergravs. Snap into the guard break. Yeah, I mean, this is what you see the MSP game plan, man. Is he gonna loop this the whole entire way? What's the reset? Because you're not gonna be able to kill here. Yep, there's the reset. One, two, three. Oh my God, that was clean. 
A trade. Uh oh, raw launch. Doesn't get the punish though. Oh, he's looking for that cheeky little reset here. Unfortunately, he's gonna take the lightning attack into the DHC, the bubble to make it simple. Very nice. Yep, yep, yep. And even then, this matchup is still pretty hard because Storm Psylocke is so good against Sentinel. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is because, like, you know, obviously, if you're Sentinel, you're like, I want Unfly as soon as possible so I can block in the air, have more air actions, and everything. But Psylocke, she causes soft knockdown. Yes. Because she causes soft knockdown, you cannot get Unfly from soft knockdown. But you get you can get Unfly from the throw, though. <sighs> okay, good push block. Mm -hmm. Maintain your space here. That was looking. For, he kind of threatened the tick, though. That was awkward. Yeah, it was. It was weird because the way he approached it was like he had an anti trying to bait an assist. But Mike Infant doesn't have any good assist to call now. Now he, I mean, you have Sentinel assist, so Sentinel can be used as a pseudo anti. -er. Mike Infinite gets the hit though. He will kill Storm with the DHC available. So not gonna be able to kill here. Get some big damage. Overbook still it's still a dangerous game. Oh the launch. No commitment though. Ah, but look at the damage on Psylocke here and look how much meter we have left. Mike has a couple hailstorms left in him, but we're not even gonna get to see them. Nice block on that one. And this is gonna be a tough order. Mike will probably need maybe go for a random snapback. Yeah, I think he tried there, but it didn't work out. Sideblade mm -hmm. did enough damage, and it would have done enough chip damage as well, too. I love the announcer in this game, by the way. <laughs> he just, just the killer I, instinct. Just what I expected. He just... <laughs> the announcer would be hyping you up. Like, wow, fun. you're so good. <laughs> I'm like, what? Oh, thanks, man. It's a one-to-one. -one. Probably going to keep it on. Yeah, absolutely. Same stuff. I honestly not expecting any changes between the two at this point. Like you said, playing the better yeah. matchup on this one for sure. Hey, there's there is a chance he might pick Cable, uh, just because Cable Cyclops. Uh, but some people are just maybe bad at Cable. It's one of those things, you know. Mm -hmm. So it could, those, those, yeah. <laughs> it could be one of those. Yeah, it could be one of those situations. Okay, goes for the infinite right here. No, drops it, but gets the throw though. That's gonna be all unscaled damage at this point. Misses it though. Goes for the throw. Yeah, Manuel could tech that throw too as well too. If, mm -hmm. if he was ready for it. Gamer Jim, I see you, homie. Hopefully you had a good time. I saw your name in the bracket. Appreciate you, 43 months. Yeah, easy infinite. There's no way you can mess that up. Go for the corridor. Typhoon hail. Tries to bait assist, but go for yeah. broke. Not pressing the side blade that, that Mike Infinite wanted him to do. Oh, definitely was able to land in time. Commando gets away relatively unscathed too. Almost gets the punish there with the roundhouse. Yep. Nice. That was the TA Wolf for the Prime as well too. Appreciate you, buddy. This is the knockdown. Psylocke. Oh yeah, that's going to hit Psylocke maybe. Yeah, that's going to hit both. Ouch. Do it again. Maybe Alpha Counter Magneto, possibly. Yeah, there is the Alpha Counter. Nice holding up back. That could have been a short, short punish, but he didn't press it because he maybe he was a little bit too scared. Oh. Okay. Air to air with the fierce. There is a short, short. <gasps> oh, man. I was going to get the snap. Yeah, me too. Typhoon. Maybe bringing Psylocke. Yeah. Anyone's game at this point. If Psylocke gets the hit. No, but Psylocke could have. Oh, he could have killed Psylocke. Alpha counter again. So many alpha counters. Misses the try jump. Nice. Damn, meter on that one. Gets a little yep. bit of chip. Backing out. Trying to go for the whip punish there, but Mike's so smart. Had the roundhouse to get the punish. Yeah, Mike's really good with his defensive roundhouses right here. That's going to punish both characters. Oh. There. The damage is available. No. They swing and the scramble goes and go for Brokes' favor. But yeah, Captain Commando. I think Mike's gonna try to fight this out because it's so winnable. Oh yeah, we're a couple corridors away. Never mind. Bye. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like you said, that was very, very. I mean, depending on the situations, that is like that's like two and a half corridors. That's that's it. It's close. Yeah, it's very close. Literally, like if he killed Storm, he had a shot because then he had to take the, the helicopter guard break or 
Or maybe it might go just go for the left right mix up, but it was definitely winnable at that point. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Well, maybe Mike. He's known for Team Row. He might pick Team Row here or go back with Sandthrax. Oh, he's going to go with the Team Row pick. So we're going to get the Magnet on point. And like I mentioned before, this is a very tough matchup for Team Row. But this is definitely Mike's best team by far. Hey, I mean, that is a, the ancient proverb of this game, though, is uh, the, the, the sense of it. Pick your stuff. He's like, sand for it. Go up with sand box. Do you sand for it? Do you? Oh, poke the legs. Didn't want to go for the snap on that one. Okay. What's our right here? Let's see if we can get a double snap or get the Fierce Fierce Roundhouse or get the short short and had the block that takes a throw. Yeah, you don't get the OTG on that one if they if they roll. Nice, got a guess. Oh, he guessed wrong. Fierce Fierce Roundhouse. Mm-hmm. Meaty, meaty assist. Can't really can't really avoid that. Nice guard break. Goes for a reset. Mm. Yeah, set it up again. Yeah. Look how much damage that was. Jesus. It's 50 every single time. Yeah, like I said, Fierce Fierce Roundhouse does a ridiculous amount here. It's able to push away, though. Max meter at this point as well. Gets a snipe on Cable. Not too bad. Yep. Nice. Has to go DAC in the side of the lock. That's not, I would just raw tag Sentinel right here because there's nothing Psylocke could do. Oh! <laughs> Rocket punch. Now at this point, Cable, I mean, he's able to pretty pretty handily lame this one out, gets the push block away, and is able to completely stop this fireball attempt from Psylocke. Yeah, the one thing about Mike is that he's not really pulling the trigger. Like, and Overbrook's slowly building the bar, but as I said that, gets the trip guard with the short, short roundhouse, and now does he get the guard break, or is he going to take the hit of the bullet? Takes the hit, and Mike is ready for it. 2-2. Two, two. Take super clean on that one. Even had the EM disruptor behind it to make sure. And that is honestly the magic of picking your stuff even if it's a worse matchup sometimes just the comfortability can make a difference yeah the cable looked crispy the whole time cable did look crispy the man he and he won Ma against manual psylocke with manual rocket punch as well too so it definitely worked out i would say the one thing that gold broke is doing oh but he goes a cyclone kick mm, i don't understand this but you know what all right do you do you go for broke <laughs> <laughs> go out with ms cyclone kick Hey, we'll see if it works out for him here. Potentially, right off the rip. Oh, and okay. Uh, listen, that's the uh, that's the stuff we were talking about, man. Finally, we got some aggressive Magneto's round start. I like that. Yeah, we do. <laughs> oh, as you said that, though. Not like this. The Cyclone kick. And you know what's crazy about this? Mike went rush down mode because he doesn't have Psylocke. Because he knows yeah. that he can't, like, he doesn't have to worry about Psy Blade. Don't have to worry about any of that. So that's why he went him. Yeah, and I mean, short, short rocket punch, kind of ridiculous for the confirms here. Storm is going to die off the simple stuff. Magneto, oh, dude. All right, all I have to say is, go for broke. You can't come in this chat and blame me that, see, look, I should have backed that. Look, you told me to fight, and then I lost. And I'll be like, well, that's because you picked, you picked Cyclone Kick, not Psyblade. All right, wait, hold on. He's going to kill the guard break. He can't loop it, though. He could loop it all day if he wants to. Ooh! That was crazy off the trade. Yeah, off the trade. Yeah, he's gonna go for Hypergraph Tempest. That's the, it's really hard to mash out of there. Oh, it reset it and it worked out. Oh my god, he has four bars here. Hold up, hold up. There's one. That's one. Hold up. There's two. Oh, no, he, he drops. Lost. Nice tech. We have a real match. Oh my god. Nice. Coming down roundhouse. Rocket punch. Tiger knee. He has no one fly. Now he does, though. Oh. Jump short. That was so scary. <laughs> that was so scary. That was so scary. If, if he didn't drop the Hypergraph Tempest, it could have been game over. But because he dropped it, oh, that cost him everything. 
That was it, bro. That was it. He had him. Oh, he had plenty of meter, plenty of momentum. And then that last situation too on the super jump short. Oh God. Yeah, he's probably he's probably one of them, he's probably my favorite fighting game character of all time. Just because mm -hmm. of like the amount of freestyle you can do with just like flying, unfly, and like for me, I feel like I have I I know how to play Sentinel very, very well. But mm -hmm. I, I don't think I have mastered the character Sentinel at all. Mm -hmm. So just because I can't do reflies personally. So because I can't do reflies personally, um, I you know I could do one out of ten, but I can't do a ten out of ten. Yeah. So there's there's room for me to grow if I wanted to keep getting better with Sentinel. But the problem is, my wrist might fall off by the time I get there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, executionally, man, it is different, but it looks like the uh, the expected team comps are going to come through here. Yeah, so we'll see. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a fun match. Uh, Storm, I think Storm does really good. Storm versus Sentinel, I think it's like 5-5 five, five across the board. Mm -hmm. Oh, but we're gonna start Sentinel first. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, we're gonna start Sentinel first because Sentinel Cyclops can, you know, make Sentinel Doom have a really, really rough time. So it really depends on can lockdown hold this lockdown trap with sentinel doom because in the corner it does so much chip damage right here i mean obviously the uh, this is what it feels like one of the first times we've gotten to see the true sentinel sentinel at the start here and obviously one of the most important things about the matchup the sentinel who has the higher position obviously in a better position as often as possible but you can manipulate the screen because there is like a set amount of distance you can be from your opponent so you can intentionally fall to pull them out of the sky there's a lot of stuff that goes into it yeah it definitely does and look you see how much meter now i'm spending no meter no chip damage and it's like it's working out in like more of lockdown's favor because once strider comes out it's going to be a wrap but the thing is what's really good about matrix's team is that he has storm so yeah see they're going to cancel and this is okay for storm because storm is going to hit the sky and now storm needs to hit the guys perfectly oh he could have definitely had cyclops i think that's going to be punish super jump out yeah lightning attack lightning attack just wait it out lightning 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 attack Push block, yeah, that's the classic strategy with Storm versus uh, Strider. Yeah, Chris's assist calls have just been perfection the entire way through. It hasn't had to deal with much. The rare fly from Storm to be able to get out of that one as well. Yeah. Nice, again, Gene Splice hits. Yep, go for the asset alpha counter. No, does it? Wow, such bravery. Misses the punish. Yeah, I mean, Jab Jab Cyclops. I thought he was going to go for the chip again there, but maybe he was scared for the Alpha Counter. Wanted to do something to guarantee the kill. You're right about that one. But you know what? And that's okay. Three bars like, to just get, bring Strider in and Storm able to avoid all three bar bars is like super good. And there it is. And we're going to run back Hailstorm probably again. The damage. Oh, didn't mash enough again, but you know, still gets the kill. so hard for doom doom needs to get random yolo launches to like make this competitive and he kind of is kind of like another captain commando but just a little bit better i would say mm -hmm. yeah i mean he can still represent a little bit of chip here and his combo game is pretty decent he's got pretty decent damage for it. it's definitely more stable than commando because like you said against certain characters uh corridor super will just like just straight up not work people will just tech out and kill you for it yeah exactly but chris matrix i mean Taking game number one, which is uh, I'd say pretty impressive, just because like lockdown is the defending champion for for the TNS. Set Sentinel. That's, that's how. That's the yipes when he, when he calls out the character Sentinel. <laughs> oh my god. All right, let's see it. Sentinel matchup at the beginning once again. Got to be careful, of course. I mean, the Cyclops player definitely has priority at that start. Yeah, so good. Ooh, dodge on the rocket punch. And that's also part of the, the flying air footsies with Senno is that sometimes you, know, you you might not want to play this like stare down, this wild, wild west, right, with the air Sentinels. You might throw out a random rocket punch here and there. Yep, camera priority again. So good. Just hold up. Anytime you see a character jump up to try to chase you down, if you hold up or up back, your the camera will follow you as the main priority. See, just like that. Lockdown's doing such a be much better job this time winning the Sentinel War here. 
Yep, and has that fourth bar now. So goes for the super, goes for the DHC lockdown time. Yeah, tries the raw tag. Chris Matrix didn't get the raw tag out in time. Able to float the whole entire way. Cyclops take a little bit of damage, but oh, nice, perfect. Dude, that was so clean. Cold. Yeah. Hmm, with the cross up into that one. Yep, go for the knockdown. Pick him up. Snap back. Oh, look at that trap. Ooh, the juggles, the awareness. Oh, and just the selection of normals, man. Being able to come out of the uh, of the screen swap and still be able to maintain pressure, teleport into that little cross underneath. So sneaky. Yep. Look at that. You can't get out of that trap. You can't even alpha counter storm because storm alpha counter would not do anything. You just get hit standing. Yep. Throw the bomb right there just in case she wants to get out. Tries to go for the instant overhead bomb for more damage. Ooh, short, short. Damn, he linked that into the instant overhead too. Cheap. Yeah, why so I hey, keep getting juggled? Alone, like, bro. yeah, why God she gotta damn. keep? <laughs> it's that pow pow, pow. <laughs> Say, pow. Let my girl go. It's over, bro. Jesus. <laughs> nah, he, he he wasn't he wasn't feeling it. Jesus Christ. Hey, one to one though, much better. And like you said, the, the Sentinel Mirror really just was the difference maker. Lockdown. Everything happened very similarly, but he had more life to play with when we got into that last situation. That end. It felt like Chris was able to DHC at a great timing last time. So they both went for the DHC to swap at the same time. Storm was able to escape. That just set two of Lockdown's bars on fire immediately. Yeah. Okay, let's see what's, let's see how we're going to do it now. Okay, show show rocket punch, but doesn't go for the upward rocket punch, though. Super jump roundhouse. Not didn't want to lose unfly. Ooh. Oh my god, the roundhouse, 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 roundhouse. Jesus, bro. <laughs> I know, it's so good. It's, it's all this chip damage as well, too, right? That's the most important, insane part. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Look at that. Look at the damage right there. But right, look at how much meter lockdown has he's waiting he's waiting for that perfect opportunity to just like bring strider in he tried to do right there but cyclops able to like, literally be that annoying character okay do it again okay so storm does get away from the first one here oh, ha 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 Splice. Didn't get very much damage on Cyclops either. That sucks. You hate to see a meter go like that, but he's just about to have the third bar. Yep. Yep. Nice. Oh, the rocks was able to protect him for the, from the third Cyclops hit right there. Look at this. Yeah. And right now, Lockdown is trying to find opportunity to activate the orbs. And there it is. There's the activation. Goes for the lightning attack. Typhoon, no, that's gonna be able to bring her back down. And yeah, she couldn't jump out of that one. But she's able to push block. Chris Matrix time push block is amazing right now. Oh, the trades again. Dude, and just like this, this could be the end. Absolutely gets the clean hit here. Cyclops burning a little bit off the top, but yep. still alive. Oh my god. No, she, she should let maybe if he let the, the super optic glass rock a little bit, the rocks would have went through. Mm. Push block, yeah. Push block again. Nice dodge. Can we get the stomp? Can we get the trades? 19 seconds left on the clock as well, too. He needs to get rid of Strider if he wants to make some type of comeback. Oh, getting trades, but no. Gene Splice? He's able to chip out here. Oh! It's teleport! That was such... That was like what a ninja would do right there, right? Just teleport <laughs> out of projectiles and everything. Bro, his cosplay's on point. It's definitely looking crazy. Okay, four yeah. seconds left on the clock. Nothing yeah, to really do to be able to take the damage. Mm -hmm. Not gonna call Dr. Doom assist. One on, just one on one it. The time over. Yeah, never even had an opportunity to get back into that one. Lockdown just did a great job stalling things out.
And I mean, that's that's just kind of how it goes when the neutral is super solid on both players' ends. Neither one wants to make too much of an overcommitment, but luckily Lockdown's team just does so good at wearing you down naturally. Obviously, if he's able to ever get into orbs, or if you're just blocking Doom rocks naturally, they just do so much. Yeah, it, it really is, it really shows how good Lockdown Sano is, because like, yeah. yeah, like you can see that Strider is doing all the work, for sure. But it comes down to lockdown building those meters for Strider to do all those work. So, you know, without without Sentinel, Strider Doom would not look as good. Okay, that was a good avoidance on the rocket punch there. Still, yeah. I mean, getting away from Psych Sentinel just feels impossible sometimes, man. Look at this pressure. Yeah, in the corner, it's the, the corner trap, especially if you do it perfectly, it's really hard because you, you, Gene Spice is three hits on the ground. It's so much block stun. Yeah, plus, like, even if you avoid the initial hit, that the little laser that comes up is so, so good. Yep. Oh, my God. The pick-me-up? And goes for the instant of a nice raw tag. Should be able to kill, but no. Dr. Doom saving the boy Strider. Best friends forever. Lightning attack, lightning attack. Surprise, Chris, Chris stayed on the ground. Nope, that's going to trade, but the rocks might trade. Yeah, three bars, so expensive there. Maybe the bubble might have been the been the better option there. Hmm. Yeah, potentially could have eaten it up there, but again, Cyclops. Fortunately, even after the Cyclops assist hits, it wasn't able to get much else after it. Has to block this out now. Here we go. Set it yeah. up again. Yeah, again with the Gene Spice. Willing to, willing to have Cyclops to be the meat show at this point. No, the raw tag with Sentinel. Interesting decision. And now look at this. Again. As by Alpha Counter again. Look at that. I feel like at that point, Alpha Counter was completely just like nullified, right? Yeah. Because you remember, you don't build bar when you're blocking. That's that. That's the that's sad part. At least when you're getting hit, you can build bar. But here... Your only Strider is building bar. Yeah, I was gonna say you're definitely just holding that. You see that second jump forward as well. Great adjustment. The damage adding up on Cyclops. Yep, and goes for the trap again. Dude, look at this. And the instant overhead can't get out. Mmm, and he has two more supers. Look at that. Summons another one. Has to take this bird. That's gonna be a guard break here too as well. Oh, he could have definitely hit, but he didn't believe. He just wanted to for the raw tag, and that is game. Yeah, not much to be done there. Lockdown to close it out off the back of some super impressive Strider play as we've just come to expect from this guy. And like you said, is really like the, this is like the, this is the the guy you got to watch right now. Oh yeah, <laughs> You're trying to learn this team, dude. I, I like that. I, I, I'm such a fan of Lockdown's play just because it's, mm -hmm. it looks so perfect the whole entire time, right? So obviously, you know, you, you it's not unbeatable. You can obviously beat it. But it's just when you see someone pilot it to that regards where mm. they're looking for the alpha counters, uh, they have the traps, you can't really get out and they're, you know, they're activating safely. It's 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 an art. It's really beautiful to see. But, you know, what's really cool is that uh, I just found out. So, you know, the next match is Mike Infinite versus Cool Mighty, right? Okay. Um, cool Mighty is not the same Cool Mighty that I had thought of. It's actually uh, it's actually Neo. Is it? <laughs> yeah, Neo is at Cool Mighty's house and playing oh and playing as playing playing under his account because yeah, so it is Neo. So Neo Smurfin too? Come on, bro. Yeah. No. So, so way. this is so this is Neo playing at Cool Mighty's house. Crazy work. Okay, yeah. so I mean one of I the was finest confused. players. Yeah, I was confused. I was like, what are you talking about? He you know, he's messaging me outside. He's like, Yeah, yeah. His name appears as Sipsy's two four seven on the screen. And I was like I'm like, I don't see a Sipsy in the bracket. He's like, no, no, I'm Cool Mighty. And I'm like, I'm like, wait, isn't Cool Mighty a person? Yeah, Jesus but we, Christ. but I'm at his house playing. And I'm like, oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Cameron yeah. Jim and Chess is no wonder. <laughs> Dude, it's funny because you're, so Neo, right? He's so funny because he's been he's been commentating, uh, you know, TNS last week. He commented my tournament, and he's been getting salty. Because he's like, bro, this could be my money. <laughs> so, hey, man. So now he's finally like, yo, I, I, I want to play these tournaments, baby. <laughs> the 
Cool Mighty with a question mark is goaded, by the way, production. That is amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but this is Neo. He told me this is Neo. Like, he literally just told me in, in Facebook, like, yo, I'm, I'm, this, I'm playing. He said, I'm playing my game for the next, right? I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I guess so. No, man. Hey, listen, he said it was going to be his money. My guy here kind of cooking right now, though. Yeah, he is cooking. Yeah, the thing about Neo as well, too, Neo is not very good against Cable. Uh, because he's more of a defensive player, and so his rushdown is not as good, right? And you need to have really good rushdown, really good ways to open people up, especially if you're fighting against Cable, who's just holding up back, jumping back, shooting shots all day. Uh, no, so but... Neo's more of the person that's like, I'd rather fight Magnetos or Storms and Sentinel, but Cable might be a little of his kryptonite, I would say. All right, gets the punish on the shot there. Hilo doesn't work out. Supers once again, just to take that little bit of damage. Storm survives, but we chip him easy. Yeah, that's when you know Neo's rushed down his ass. You saw how he went for the high, right? When he went for the tri jump light. I mean, he did tri jump light kick into crouching jab. That's literally a high mid. He didn't even go for high low. So, like, that's when you know the rush down kind of butt. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, but I mean, he's got one of the best Sentinels in the business, he man. Do. His Sentinel is definitely, <laughs> is he definitely got a, a true robot, that's for sure. Unfortunately, I mean, the lead at that point was just a little too great. We've talked about it a multitude of times. Scent Cyclops is, Scent Cyclops versus Scent is a horrible matchup. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely, uh, definitely very tough. But, you know, I'm, I'm actually glad to see Neo playing in these tournaments, though. Oh, hell yeah. Listen, I'm trying to see all the high-level guys come up and step up. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're definitely going to go back with Santhrax. Go out with Santhrax. <laughs> Yo, shout, oh, out to, shout out to Sanford Kelly. It's his birthday today. Uh, so shout Is out it? To, yeah, 42 years old. Happy birthday, Sanford Kelly. Dude, shout out to one of the goats, man. Happy birthday. You know what was really funny about um, Neo? There was there was time where he was fighting Sanford in a money match, and it was it was like, you know, a good set, right? Mm -hmm. And Neo Neo literally screamed out, This is my freaking team. And they got Sanford so upset. Oh my. Yeah, it got so <laughs> <laughs> Like why you say that? The mental warfare? <laughs> I was gonna say, dude. Oh, okay. So now, yeah. I mean, back to the Gundam Wars. Yeah, playing the robot versus robot. The robot footsies in the air. I, I love the sound effect. <laughs> like the fly, Dude. the fly sound is so good. Sound design in this game is crazy. It's super dynamic. And I love how punchy the assist hitting is. Commando, yeah. it does something for me, bro. <laughs> Yep, bring in the cable, and then you know this is what this is what he's gonna do. He's gonna bring in, he's gonna cancel in the sentinel in the storm. And he, oh, what's he raw tag? You a nut? I get it. I understand it because if he raw tags, he still gets the storm sent order. Because if he DHCs, then it would have been storm commando sentinel. But was that raw tag really worth it? Because storm is about to die here. Yeah, now you're in on commando, and at this point, just has to spend the bar to be able to get out. So your team, you got your team in a better order again, but like you said, you gave away a lot of life for it. Yeah. You're back to the same matchup. Yeah, back to the Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit greedy, I would say. He really wanted, he didn't want to do, go into Super Super, which would have been the way better choice. Yeah, ooh, the empty jump low in the corridor. Try jump at the roundhouse again. But one more shot for the chip damage. Oh no, missing the crouching heavy punch. So close. Makes the hit. But Mike Infinite, one of the best in the business in terms of just reacting into just like shot into Hyper Viper Beam. He's really good with his guard breaks. Mm, something he definitely mastered, I would say. Locking everything out. But I mean, it's unfortunate here. You have to close the distance. You can't just go for the, uh, for the corridor on Cyclops. It's not good enough. Yeah, just, yeah, Commando can't do a damn thing here. Impossible, yep. Yeah, let go of the controller. It looked like he let go of the controller. <laughs> hey, listen, man, I like that. He put the hands down and then came out swinging. But unfortunately, it still wasn't enough. Mike Infinite, two games now. Yeah, with the Sentinel Cable side, we've seen Mike Infinite play three teams so far, right? We've seen him play Santhrax. Uh, we've seen him play Team Row. And this team, they, they call it Scrub Clops. Yes, sir. 
Definitely gonna stick it out here. I mean, not expecting a swap on the other side as well. I mean, Drax is the stuff. Lucas says, if Captain Fire was a beam instead, how much better would he be? Problem is, beams are... Beams are not aren't that good in this game. Only Sentinel's beam and cable beam, hyperviper beam is good. Uh, but like mm. regular character, like like pla there's plasma beam, but plasma beam is ass. This yeah. Game. If if Cap if Commando had an air super, or oh, that I think that would help. An air super would help. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. We got the. The, the, the patented Neo mix-ups right here with the Captain Quarter go over the mix-up with the flying across of the body. And this time, I mean, he wins the Sentinel clean here. But Cable, the bane of his ex existence. Every Sentinel's existence. Yeah, I was going to say, not a fun one to have to deal with. Dashes underneath with the jab. Doesn't want to spend the extra bar, though. Taking just the hit on Commando, not good enough. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that was so good. Bean splice. Oh my god, that crossover roundhouse? Hey, Moo walked on his ass. Jesus. Yeah, look at that. I mean, it's I, this is Ice Stage. Let's say slipping and sliding. Definitely like yep. it. Slipping and sliding. Go for the cross under. Nice mash right there. Storm going down. Misses the guard break, though, this time. He thought maybe Neo's going to take the shot again. Oh, Captain Fire, I told you Lucas sucks. <laughs> Shout out to Lucas, man. <laughs> <laughs> he did it, he didn't do it. <laughs> there it is, good. Jumps up with the roundhouse, gets the hit with the assist again. Things just, everything working out, man. Yeah, again, it's just the matchup. Yeah, this matchup is ass. <laughs> oh, but wait, hold on. He spent the bar by accident with the snap. Oh. No, that's not gonna do anything. That's gonna be a punish. He should have canceled the Captain Sword. Captain Sword would definitely punish there. Commando! Oh, he don't know how to play Commando. <laughs> Dude, do you understand? I, I gave Neo was in my chat. No, no we were commenting out and he was talking about how he's so good with his Drax and everything. Commando's such a cool character. And I'm like, bro, you don't even know how to play Commando. You just use him as an assist. <laughs> like you, you don't even know how to play. You just do corridor, grab, super. I mean, you did dash oh, jab. No. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the end, man. I mean, I'm not expecting much here from the commando. Gets the hit on cable, but what can you do? <laughs> yeah, you can't do a damn thing. That the character is bad. <laughs> like, the matchup is bad, but the character is bad, too. Like, commando can't do a, a damn thing. Like, the thing, the thing that what shined was what we saw at the third game with Neo was uh, able mm. to, like, win the Sentinel Commando War and able to play very defensive style. Which is really good. It's just that against Cable, like if he fought against like his uh, Mike Infinite's team role, it would have been way more competitive because he's so much better at fighting Magneto. But if it's a person that's more of like you have to chase me down, I would say that's kind of like the the weakness that Neo has, in my personal opinion. Losers now, Wenzel actually was able to make it, and I mash buttons, so go for broke on the other side. Okay, so that be that'll probably be a Thrax versus maybe MSP slash MS. Uh, Cy Cyclone kick again. G Concept will obviously be be playing MSP or maybe Team Row. I know he likes playing Team Row a lot as well too. And EX Prominence. I mean, if he picks MSP, we'll probably see the Akuma assist actually. So that'll be pretty hype back in, in my personal opinion. But I think before that, we're gonna see Wenzo versus I Mash Buttons. And we talked about how explosive Wenzo. He's from the Seattle FGC scene. And if you guys don't know, mm -hmm. Seattle FGC. For Marvel 2 has some of the, the richest and oldest history. Uh, I would say they changed so much, so much of the game. When it comes to Sentinel play, especially, they were the ones that really made Sentinel like everyone. They just like I think about like, oh, you know, this is actually how you play Sentinel. This is how we should play Sentinel. So big shouts of the Seattle scene, you know, Preppy and everything, recording all the footages from every tournament. Anytime you probably watch the Marvel 2 video, it's probably from Preppy just recording literally with his camcorder every Hell game yeah. every match dude that's fire i i always love giving shouts to people like that because i know that every scene had a, a guy like had somebody who was like the person that was like the uh the official record keeper who took it upon themselves to record a ton <laughs> yeah of stuff. right that's fire man the unsung heroes of the early fgc that's amazing yeah 
like like her like early said in the chat if you guys are trying to go to a marvel 2 major uh fight kingdom fight kingdom is a retro mm. marvel 2 major and have, they have all the other games as well too but literally it's like marvel 2 is like the main event there that's super fire oh the hypergraph oh no he almost had commando he was commando was just chilling there posing like a power ranger captain corridor captain corridor <laughs> It's funny that he really is like just looking for a Captain Quarter times three. Yeah, I was gonna say at that point, <laughs> just gonna hit on Captain that one. Quarter. THC out. <laughs> yep, I had to go for the DHC. It was a clean jump over. Yep. Nice little storm right here. Hey, yep, go for the hailstorm. But Wenzo, I mean, he has the storm sent DHC available. So if he gets the hit on storm, he's definitely going to pull the trigger. Oh, raw roundhouse. Oh, try jumps. Going to kill both characters. <gasps> no, he's he going to kill, kill neither. Both. Yeah, he didn't. But look at the hailstorm. Look at storm. And she goes down. Sentinel's going to lose all that red health, too. Yeah, yeah. easy. No. I didn't finish the combo. Would have definitely killed the lightning storm there. Yeah, it's been a lot of drop combos. Still able to secure it, though. It still should be able to finish this game off. But yeah, like you said, uncharacteristic drops at the start of this one. Yeah, I mean, at this point, maybe they're just playing and they're just like... Sometimes you you, you play too fast. Because I think Gopher Bros. one of those guys is like... He plays a little bit too fast. And hmm. sometimes he will get execution errors. Like when, he's, when he hits you in the ROM, obviously his ROM is so good. But I think it's more of like the neutral point, trying to land the hit. That's where... Things can be a little bit scrambly, I would say. Okay. So, Wenzel, maybe thinking about something here. Probably not, though. Probably just sticking to the stuff. Yeah, I think I think it's more of like he's thinking about the order. So, I think he's going to probably try to start Storm on point. But that's very dangerous. Because if you're starting Storm on point, that means you don't have... It's easier to open you up at the start of the fight. Yes. Because now you don't have the axes of super armor available. That, and that's why Sentinel is such a good pick. But guess is right on the jump. Oh, tried to go for a little extension there in the mid screen with the drones. Typhoon is going to come out just in time. So a trade. Okay, it goes for the Typhoon. Look at the chip damage, though. Oh, my God. Thigh blade getting hit by the drones right there. Defensive roundhouse back. Oh, we got these? Oh, yeah, that would have been hype. The Storm now also, like, before when we were playing back in the day, Storm didn't have, like, this infinite. But now Storm has this flying screen infinite that a lot of the, the newer Marvel 2 players go for. Hmm. There you go, roundhouse. Double lightning attack into the super. Takes the kill. DHC just to get the team into a better order here. At least just to have Magneto out in front. Finds that first hit, still has the Psylocke for the reset. It's gonna look for the snap instead. Yeah, it goes for the snap. Kill off the battery, kill off the corridor. But let's see if he's gonna be able to finish it this time around. Because he has to, he's gonna have to go for a reset. Misses the reset, but gets the in, unintentional reset. Oh no. Raise with a jump jab, and that's gonna be a punish, easy punish. Oh. Word? We're gonna go for the neutral jump, the normal jump infinite on a standing sentinel. This should be it. Drops it, goes for the reset again. There you go. That should be the finish off of that one. No life to really play with at that point. Oh. Yeah, and if, and if some of you guys are wondering, there was a little little time where Wenzo did corridor super and then he could have DHC into Sentinel, and you're like maybe wondering why didn't he DHC into Sentinel? The reason why is because Gopher Broke super jump, and if he super jump to take the block of the Captain Sword and you cancel the Hyper Sentinel Force, he can punish the Hyper Sentinel Force from the super jump position. But if he was grounded, then he would have been able to DC Hyper Sentinel Force safely. So that yes. was a shout out to Gopher Broke for, for recognizing that moment and not forcing Wenzo to, to cancel the Hyper Sentinel Force there. Yeah, and that is a, an interesting point about this game is that while Sentinel is one of the strongest fighting game characters just around ever, uh, a lot, a majority of the cast has standing infinites on him. So uh, punishes yeah, like that exactly. almost always result in the dead Sentinel. Go for the Typhoon. Ha 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 ha. 
Ooh. Okay, nice. Good pick me up. Ooh, ooh. Look at that. Yeah, and he's going for this infinite to go for the corner carry. Oh, but he doesn't get the last frame of the super jump right there. And now Storm has another chance to live. Yeah, and because the DHC, it comes out way faster. The startup of uh, Hailstorm is so long when she's on point. Yeah. Oh, misses the Shusha Rocket Punch. Overbroke is that match game right here. He's gonna probably gonna bring in Magneto here. Yeah, control the pudding. Okay. We're gonna walk him down. Sick. Commando doesn't connect though, but it's still fun. Nice, that's gonna hit both characters. Oh, no, a little bit too greedy at the launch out. You probably would have built enough meter for a fierce rocket punch super. But I mean, Wenzel with a huge comeback after landing that super with Sentinel. On his commando, but he can afford it at this point. Throw a bunch of Psylocke's too. Oh no, somehow finds a standing hit to get into the infinite. All right. Do you think Commando wins this though? No, hell no. Because he, he, he can. He has a shot. Oh, but that's one shot. One more. <gasps> no, what what did you do? Why did you do that? I was like, what was the plan with Fierce? Yeah, <laughs> Maybe he I, just missed the corridor. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing I could think of is that he tried the corridor early. But at that point, I mean, you, you could safely assume that he was going to DHC into Psyblade. Oh, into Psylocke super because that that super in general is like the butterfly super is uh it's really hard to punish and then mm -hmm. you can punish it but with commando maybe it, that, that's a little bit too hard to punish especially in the corner dude i remember seeing a video many years ago it was called like advanced tactics or oh something. Like, do you yeah I, you know what yeah, i'm talking about I, I, yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah, oh yeah. my god stuff like that i i wish i could dig i wish i could find stuff like that again to watch it again just dig it up in the archives <laughs> I mean, you, you, I think there's a lot of the that stuff, like the Japanese combo videos, like the Meosuke. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, I think that that's on YouTube for sure. I think the nice. Seattle Seattle combo video is actually on YouTube, okay. um, which was pretty fun because they use a lot of like the Michael Jackson music, and it's it's a, it's a really fun combo video for sure. Really fun combo Hell video. Yeah. yeah. So I, I love stuff like that. I mi I actually miss stuff like that because you no, know, you don't see that mm -hmm. stuff anymore. And the reason why you, you don't see that stuff anymore is because everyone just posts their tech on Twitter. Yeah. Right. I think Desk is probably the, our last like guy. I was set. just right. gonna say, Desk is like the final frontier of combo videos for sure. <laughs> oh, dude. But here we go. See Concepts, prominence on the other side. Concepts is gonna rock the cable. Yeah, this is a really good counter team as, as well against Trier Doom because Cable Sys will, does a really good job because if you look at the cable assist, scimitar, it sends you to the top of the screen, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have to come all the way down. And it's like, dra it drags you because it's like multi-hitting. So if yeah. you hit scimitar against Dr. Doom, that means Dr. Doom is not going to come back for, for you know, a bit. No, definitely agreed. Okay, clean on the tri-jump. Has the drones for the extra little extension. Six yeah. stuff. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to definitely take him out. Now, can we survive Strider, though? Can we not let Strider play? Oh, tries to unblockable him, but misses it. Raw tags! Doesn't get the launcher, though. Does get the DHC back in, though, and this is really all we are looking for. Yep. Star cancels out, but he got a neutral jump instead. Throws the bomb. Nice punish with the launch. Goes to Raw Teleport. Oh, that was a lucky trade with Scimitar there to not get, like you said, get sent to the stratosphere. Yep. Those were light punch teleport. Storm laming out the Typhoon, building as much far because now if Storm gets the hit, he can go into the Storm Cable DC and definitely kill Strider. And we might see that. Yeah, we're definitely going to see that. Yeah. He said, you know what? I don't want Cable to play. Yeah. Dr. Doom. <laughs> I mean, has some bar, you know, I want to believe He's my boy. That's your boy. Listen, he had a lot of time between Marvel 2 and Marvel 3 to hit the gym, work on his techniques. Yeah, Definitely I mean, became a much, a much stronger character later. There's no chair in this game. Okay. 
There is definitely no chair, no level three. He has the honest work. What's like the equivalent of this? Like he has to land like six clean hits. What character is like that in Marvel, Marvel, Marvel 3 where he has to land six clean hits, like honest hits? That's some Jill or Strider with no meter stuff. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, it's like that. There's no robbery factor with, with Dr. Doom. Okay, confident with the short, but again, it's just adding up too much Typhoon into the Ice Storm. That is a clean closeout. G Concepts looks ridiculous in game one. Yeah, his movement uh, and the way he's like mo approaching like the matches, like it's so safe as well too. Okay, let's see. I'm, I'm curious to see, may, will he stick with Cable? Will we stick with Dr. Doom or Akuma? Or maybe switch to Akuma possibly, but at this point, you probably want to stick to, to Dr. Doom Assist. Mm. Yeah, it's just such a hard matchup. Like, I would say maybe starting Strider might be a better choice because Iron Man Storm just doesn't seem like it's working. Because you have to, you're 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 forced to call Doctor Doom assist, and because of that, she can choose to punish that Doctor Doom assist with Hailstorm, which does like forty percent of your health. Yeah, even situations like that had to use his movement to try and get away and be able to protect Doctor Doom from actually getting launched. There go, ha 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 ha. Oh, wait, wait. I mean, he, he if he gets to hit the air to ground, it might work. But the problem is, is that with G Concept, he knows the risk and reward when it comes to fighting against Iron Man. So that's why he is hitting the skies, hitting. But Strider forces Storm to come down. Scimitar coming from the back. Very crazy work to push him out of that one. Actually gets the roundhouse, pushes out uh, Doctor Doom, but the bird saves the day. Yeah. Praise all day is the best way to deal with Hailstorm. That's the wall cling, and that's the Strider's worst nightmare. There's two things about Strider, if you're going to play him, that Strider players hate the most. It's wall cling and doing Ragnarok Super instead of orbs. Yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> he just runs for him and just gets launched. It's so bad. The repulsive plan. Okay. Goes to the tiger, gonna have the alpha counter, tries to bait it, yeah, it's gonna bait it out. And Sentinel able to take the juggle of the rocks. It's like a, that was a perfect alpha counter there. Oh, try to sneak it with the low, nice defense. Nice, nice. I like that. He would, let's see if, if Iron Man can land the hit here. That's the hard part. Can he land it? Like you said, he's hard to approach in the air, but Sentinel, one of those characters that has the luxury of really being able to do it if he can get that height advantage. Yep. But G Concept, you see, every time Iron Man gets close, he just wave dashes behind it. Yep, Storm DHC to keep it safe. Even got the punish. And we have another bar. That forces the tag out, and now we're going to get a rush down against Dr. Doom. But, I mean, G if he keeps rushing down like that, I mean, there's a chance where Dr. Doom can land the hit, and it could set play into Iron Man's favor. That looks so funny. Dude, yeah, him getting pulled back down, but there we go. Iron Man just going to look to fall into the chip, unfortunately. 2-0 G concept looking so strong here. Dude, what the yeah. <laughs> Dude, I feel like the Sentinel is playing so good. Hasn't really had to have Cable on point, but like you said, the Scimitar hitting and putting you in those awkward, super high situations has been just kind of putting prominence in positions where he wasn't able to get much off of it. Yeah, I, I really think you starting Strider on point might be the better option because the, the concept is just literally not giving Iron Man a shot. Because at least with Strider, like, you know Storm's going to run away against Strider, but instead of chasing her down, you just build meat on the floor. Mm -hmm. Eventually, she's going to have to... To, to come in. Oh, the open up it doesn't get it because Cable blocks Storm for the rest of the hits. Oh, got caught in his flight there. Still fine though. Yeah, I think that was an input error, but it just worked out because Lightning Storm is a is literally a full screen super. Yeah. The Doctor Doom slow getting beat up down there. 
Like 30% of his health already. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. Run away. That's what we do. That's the character, baby. Oh, dude. It's just... It's relaxing to watch. I'm not gonna lie. I know that I know that it is stressful chasing her, but I am feel relaxed watching her just float away. Mm. Oh, nice combo. Okay, good pick me up. Oh, but yeah, I don't like that that knockdown. The knockdown seems like it goes so far. Yeah, it's okay. He's willing to take the straight because if he does D18 to Seno, Seno would get into a Strider Infinite. Look at the orbs though. Look at the Doctor Doom. Oh, that's a punish. That's so unfortunate. Dr. Doom's going to lose 80% red health here. But no guard break, so at least you have another shot there. Yeah, but things are just not getting better here. The TK Viper Beams are so strong for keeping you locked down. Gets the shot on Sentinel. And a punish, though. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. The instant overhead hitting cables. Literally the head from the, the top of the screen. Okay, we got the rocks. We got to make a guess. No. Misses the try jump. Goes for the throw. That was sneaky. And that's going to do enough for chip damage. And Doc Doom going to not be able to afford this. Yeah, I was going to say, not much to be done there. Once he gets into the flight, G Concept's going to make it three straight to be able to move forward in the loser's bracket. A shame to see Prominence out at this point, but G Concept's playing just too clean the whole way through, man. Yeah, that's the one thing about Prominence's game plan. Like, he's just, he's consistently makes top eight. It's just uh, eventually he's going to fight against people or characters that really, like, hurts his team and it makes it such, like, a much harder, like, steep hill for him to climb, right? Because, like, when you compare lockdowns team at least you know you have you have the robot you have sentinel and sentinel could really hold you down but iron man i mean he's such an amazing character of at his own right but what makes yeah. iron man shine out is based off just like the the, the other characters backing him up he, he usually can be also be played second so you kind of like dhc into proton cannon to get the kill right to get the optimal guard break position yeah. so here you're trying to play Iron Man on point, which makes it so much harder to win with, I would say. Yeah, Team Matrix or maybe Scrub Clops versus MS Psych or MSP. Some interesting teams, I would say. I want to see the Cyclone kick more. I'm not going to lie. I this, Today is my you, first you like time it? really. This is my first time really getting to see it played well today. And this is, uh, I'm interested. Okay. All right. But I think, I mean, at this point, you're like, Maybe you might take it more seriously. But MS Cyclops, I feel MS Cyclops, he told me that this is one of his main teams that he likes to play a lot now. So okay. maybe it might be more of a full commitment thing eventually in the future or just like a counter pick for depending on the matchup. Because I think if it's against Commando, I feel like you, we see that Cyclone kick way more against Commando versus, versus MSP just because Commando overall beats Psyblade in general. That makes sense. Gopher Broke says that this is a run back from either the last TNS or your tournament. So yeah. they have they played recently in bracket, it seems. Yeah, they played them. Yeah, he played. They played in my tournament, and then Chris <laughs> Matrix won off of this one. So I think this is more of a run back for sure. So we'll see. And we're gonna go cable. with Scrub Clops. Yeah, go for the cable. And this is a hard matchup for cable. But the thing is, Chris Matrix, I would say, has one of the best defenses in the game, unless he gets opened up right now. Okay, that's right. Like, it's really hard to open him up. He has really good reactions to stopping try jumps, I would say. I just, <laughs> I like that you, you hedged your bet at the last second. He's like, unless right here. Yeah. <laughs> as long as he doesn't get kicked in the head right here. <laughs> I, I had to option select, you feel me? Because that would have been funny hard. if he gets opened up first hit. <laughs> Got him again off the gene splice. A lot of damage. It was a little too high to go for the TK follow-up, but that's okay. Shooting things up. Might have to go for the... No, I knew it wasn't going to chip. Yeah, we're gonna bring in Storm here. Go for the shot. That's gonna oh, cable blocks in time. Yeah, and, and we talked about how you know trap teams are like kind of knowledge checks. Cable is also a knowledge check because like you have to be good at fighting cable. Like cable's mm -hmm. not a character you could just run over. Like you could you can. It looks like a lot of players can run over cable, but if you don't have the good offensive strategies, if you can't open them up, if you can't chase them down, if you can't guard break him. And then matches will look like this, where Cable looks like he's steamrolling the whole team. Yeah, things can get out of control here, but has an opportunity for a mix-up. But like you said, the defense holds up. What I'm a block. You. 
Yeah, very good block right there. He's going to probably shoot a little bit more to go for chip damage. The trade jumps out of there. Oh, push blocks the, the jump around house and it's going to hit both characters. Yo, Team Summers. Oh, no. And Storm, I mean, gets that one little hit, but. Oh, wait, hold on. Can he get Cyclops? Oh, balls. He might have been able to get a high, like, just hit both characters there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Green Splice, Rocket Punch. Shot! <laughs> yeah, at, shot. That, at that point, you just kind of hold back, wait until they block. It's right before something connects to you, Gene Splice is just going to be able to solve all your problems. Yeah, it, it's really good. I like seeing um, Scrub Clops, because Scrub Clops, I mean, we, the reason why we call it Scrub Clops because the original name of Team Scrub is uh, Sentinel Cable Commando. So yes. this is the very the, the Cyclops variation. So they call it Scrub Clops. And this one's I would say is more beneficial for Cable because obviously you can get the Juggle with Gene Splice into Hyper Viper mm -hmm. Beam. While Commando, you don't really get that opportunity with Cable. Oh, but gets hit. Yes, on this gets hit by the second hit of the low. And this time we are getting Rom all the way to the corner. Go for the grab. No, go for the Hypergrip Tempest. Oh my god. It's hit by it. Yeah, end up getting reset in a weird way. That was a crazy late cross up. Snaps in the Cyclops. Cyblade finds the mark. Oh my god. I mean, we're, we might see a perfect here. Yeah, super hard to mash out. Oh my god. MSP doing MSP things. Doesn't get a DAC though. Okay, silent kick. Over the bubble. Yeah, if you went for high percent of force, it, it would not have comboed. Push him out after that chip. Spot yeah, in the, the overhead. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Yeah, the hard part about this is that. There's times where Gene Splice would have worked against that offense, but because he's low on health, you can't risk calling Gene Splice until he recovers, like right now. Mm -hmm. Come on. Sentinel's such a big target for the Hailstorm. Takes so much, regardless of really, really his on the screen. Gets a little bit of damage on the Psylocke. Pushes away. Yeah, pushes away right here. Tries to, get, tries to clip him, but... Overbroke's doing a good job at defending and not just over, not overextending as the MSP player. Because usually MSP players love to overextend. Oh, that could have been a big punish, but still gets it. Almost got a full conversion off of that. Oh, interesting setup. Definitely a cute way to go for the DHC here, but what is it really going to do in the long term here? Yeah. Overbroke just... Uh should be able to finish this one off in theory but it's looking harder than it needs to be yep. the fly zone yeah sure sure rocket punch if he can kill storm he can't win this game though he just needs to some oh but Psylocke said yo betsy said no <laughs> uh. right from, from downtown from a mile away Yeah, I mean, I feel like at that point, there's no reason not to call it before you go for your Hailstorm there. It can only really come up well. Yeah, sick, that, making a one hard one. part. Yeah, 1-1 one, one here. Now, do we stick with the same team, though? And and Chris makes it, hard, makes it harder for himself because he starts Cable on point. So it's like, and it, that means it gives Go for Broke an opportunity to open up first attack before they get to play neutral. Mm -hmm. Which is so dangerous, you know? It's such a dangerous decision. Oh, again! Oh, but he bashes his jab on the way through. Gets hit by the Psylocke afterwards, though. Okay, short, short. I forgot Tempest. Can't, it's so hard to match. And that was a reset, too. It didn't even combo. And that makes the Hypergraph Tempest so hard because, like, that is a combo, but there's a spot where, like, it doesn't combo and it's, like, reset damage. It's, like, mm -hmm. such... It's so cheap. Yeah, Magneto's pretty good. <laughs> he's, he, yeah, he's, he's not bad. Damn, Sentinel that. gets destroyed! Cyclops! Not long for this world, either. That was a sick little mix. That is set play. It's 
simple. He's probably going to keep it simple here. Oh, no, drops it. But at this point, if you drop at this point, like, here, like, that's okay. Bye, Blade. Yeah. Oh, for the one. <laughs> I had up a tiny bit of chip there at the end, but not too much to worry about, dude. And uh, we said it before, one of them MSP games, Magneto finds that first hit, especially when, like you said, he gets the first guess against Cable. Yeah, he needs him. If, if he if he will have a higher chance if he starts Sentinel on point, just because like Sentinel doesn't really need to guess too much. You can just react to your super armor getting clipped at that situation. All right, let's see. We're going to go back for the cable pick again, though. We're risking. We're, we're betting the farm on this one. He's confident in him saying his defense here is going to try and believe in it. Holds up this time around. Still gets hit by Psylocke. Oh, but gets hit by the scramble. Nice jump out. Yeah, it's, so e it's really easy to jump out of, like, crouching, crou meaty crouching lights for some reason. But if you if you went for, like, stand jab, then the stand jab would have clicked, clipped his... Uh, jump out attempt oh and even when we were stay able to establish ourselves able to place some neutral and get our head our feet on solid ground still able to find it there off the side lock assist yeah just like that this could be game he's gonna loop him the same way hypergraph tempest if he doesn't mash out this is, this is gonna be game over And he's getting the mash out, but he's unable to block in time. One more. This time, that's going to be it. This looks familiar. I was going to say, kind of a rerun here. Gets the connection, resets it one more time. That's going to be GG's. Hey, okay, Cyclops. What are you going to do? Oh, just like yeah. that, man. <laughs> Unfortunately, not much to be done there. I might put go for broke. Looking good. Closing that one out. Moving forward in the bracket. I believe locking in a top. Yeah, locking in a top four spot off of that one. So strong nice. stuff. Yeah, strong stuff for, for go for broke. This is the revenge match. So he got his revenge uh, yeah. this time around. So now they're, I think they're like one and one when it comes to the Marvel 2 online tournament series. Uh, but now we're going to go back to see the upper bracket. Uh, cool mighty question mark versus a uh, G concept. Oh man, listen, I, I have respect for both. I have respect for people who can play really well on multiple things at a high level, and I respect people who, who like live by the sword, die by the sword. So, either way, <laughs> yeah, look at that. I'm playing instead, I'm putting cable on point. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> oh my, it looks like it's just gonna be MSP, he's just gonna try and rush it down. I respect that. Yeah, this is a uh, classic matchup because I know back in the day, there you know there was some uh, monopoly money thrown around between these two in particular. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Not the way you wanted to start here. G Concepts hits a home run off the bat. Okay. <clears throat> Goes for the guard break. Oh, but misses the air dash from the short roundhouse though. But we escaped though. Oh. Fortunate. The hit stun is so good. Oh, we, yes, we want to guard break this bad boy. <sighs> nice Ooh. jump out. Guard break. Tries it. Doesn't work. Oh, he's getting a couple mauled. resets. Yeah, he's I was getting gonna mauled. Say, <laughs> the damage really started to add up, bro. Sentinel is cooked. Storm on the solo mission. I, I don't believe. I want to believe. All right, you know, you know what this is. Uh, you know how Neo, remember how I mentioned how Neo was like, man, this could have been my money, all this type of stuff. Well, Neo, you can always come back to commentary. <laughs> you know? Oh, no, dude. <laughs> yeah, you can always, uh, there's, there's, a, there's, there's a reason why you, you know. Touching that one, not touching yeah, that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, that was that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Justin. <laughs> I mean, he, didn't get, he didn't get a chance to play. He did not get to play at all, dude. I mean, like we said, that's that's the Magneto way of life. MSP, it's the type of... If, if you want to play that one-player game, if you want to sauce people, might as well. Yeah, that was... Uh... 
That's what Yaisu say. That's a bus ass. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. Okay, this time we get out though. Okay, hold on. What's the rocket punch? Damn, Storm just got decked in the face. Alright, let's go for instant overhead. But Neo jumps out of it with the up back strategy. Oh, but gets touched. And you know we're going to bring him in, right? Are we bring him in or we're going to walk him down? Tries to go for a reset again. Scummy, scummy. But Neo knows the answer to how to get out of that reset. Just holding holding up forward in that situation. Yeah, he's trying to hit him with the back hitbox and the jump fierce. It's a super sick thing. But a uh, jump around, excuse me. But yeah. Guard break. Oh, no. I thought maybe that was going to go. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> That sucks so much. Oh, okay. Uh, even though he gets out, it doesn't matter. The high low hits again. Yeah. Jesus. And he goes for the shockwave right there. Uh, doesn't roll, but no hypergrab though. Yep. Go for the. It's storm. Modify air dash. Yo, he is he is rushing that down right now. He is not trying to let let Neo play with the storm sentinel because obviously storm sentinel in this order can definitely kill. Oh, here it is. <gasps> Point snitch on the finger. All right, kill Psylocke. And then we're going to unblockable Psylocke here. And then now we're going to unblockable Magneto here. No, he drops the unblockable. Mistimes it, I would say. Oh, and if Sentinel gets hit here, he's definitely going to die. Oh, and all of a sudden it all comes down to this. How's the incoming going to go? Yeah, I mean, we're going to dead body to the corner. Trade. Oh, but the ROM hits again with short short. Do we go the whole way though? Okay, Hypergraph Tempest, you have to mash out. He mashed out a little bit, but there's the pickup again. And we're gonna run it back. Tries to go <gasps> for a throw. Greedy and Neo. Okay, one one. My bad. I'm gonna take the commentator uh back. <laughs> I'm gonna take that statement back, maybe. Hey, listen, man, he's still doing it on the sticks. He's fine. He's yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Neo, uh, I would say Con G Concepts, uh, he got a little bit greedy, tries to go for the reset with the throw in the end. Um, but if he just went for the standard ROM infinite and go for the bet the farm on the Hypergraph Tempest, I think that would have been a, a more better scenario, I would say. Mm -hmm. Back into it, though. Those are the corridor. Oh. I mean, this is... Honestly, so I, I'm so I'd best see the house, dude. This is so fun to get to watch. These two are so sick. Young me would never believe that I'm getting to watch online Marvel Two with Justin, bro. This is crazy. <laughs> Young me, crazy brother. Followed up to the wall, though. Nice stuff. Should be able to yeah. go loop in. Doesn't mash yeah. out. Doesn't mash so hard if you're Sentinel. One more time. One more. Oh, this. He might spin out here, actually. Yeah, there it is. Nice, good. Oh no, don't cancel! Huge mistake. Huge mistake. Oh, Neil's pissed. He's for sure. He's pissed. Yeah, absolutely. That's a. He's looking at the stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. He's, look, he's looking at the stick, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hands off the stick too while we're looking at the stick. Like, absolutely, bro. <laughs> oh no, the super jump. Bring him in. Ugh. Captain Fire. Okay, Captain Corridor is going to kill Magneto, though. And we're going to probably do another Corridor, bring in Storm. Oh, we're going to bring it, stall a little bit. We're building some meter. We're playing the lame. Can. That was Captain Captain Commando. Hailstorm is going to hit there. A little 10 hits. Oh, that was hard to block. Oh, the float to get to the other side. Sneaky. Yeah. I love that mix. Captain Fire. <laughs> yeah. Not gonna do anything. Ooh. Okay, go for a throw there. Dan Fierce tries to go for a throw. Doesn't bite. Doesn't work out. And that G concept goes up to one. You know what's crazy about that situation? He tries to go for a throw. Misses the throw temp, right? Cancels in the corridor. Yep. And if the corridor hits and he, and he goes to the captain's sword, it doesn't even combo in the corner. So actually, nope. like, it's terrible. It's just can't really do anything there. <laughs> Oh, God, yeah, because it brings them to the bottom, but it doesn't get the last hit, and they just get the neutral tech. It's so weird. Yeah, the new, and the neutral deck, you punish him for the new, for, for after the neutral tech, which is the, the most hilarious thing ever. And the, the worst part about it, in Marvel 1, Captain Sword connects every single time. So I don't know what He's what a good changed. character in that game, isn't he? He's, uh, well, he's not good, but he's solid. 
Okay, wait, wait. I yeah, know nothing solid. about Marvel One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah. What made Commando good with Marvel One is like cause he had access to medium normals. In this game, uh, you don't have access to medium normals until unless you press jab jab first or short short first. Tries to go for the over quick overhead. G concept doesn't bite. He's trying to run away to build two bars. Nice magnetic blast. Good unfly there. Modify air dash. Mm. Great raw launch. Yeah, save the day on that one. It's not like it's a hit. Sets up for a mix. Good, expert evasion of the commando. Yeah. But the thing is, MSP, a fragile team, is literally like a glass cannon. So you can't take too many hits. And especially Storm, the character that you cannot have die because Senno will set up these easy unblockables against the rest of your team. Okay. Neo doing such a great job. This holding this time around. Oh, that's going to be enough. Uh-oh. Oh, a little bit too late there. Oh, big punish. That's going to be it. Yeah, we're going to get a 2-2 game here for sure now. Psylocke's not going to be able yet. Let go of the sticks. Yeah, not too worried about that one. <laughs> you get one opportunity to practice a little confirm there and go on to the next one. Two to two. Yeah, two to two here. Now, does I, I feel like he has to go with MSP the last game. I think this is more of like a, yeah. like, you know, we have history together, so I don't want to counterpick you type of thing. Yep. Yeah. All right, the opening gambit, Goku versus Vegeta. I would think MSP is like I would think MSP is Vegeta and then Storm Sent Commando is Goku. Yeah, Thrax is Thrax is Goku for sure. It's too solid. Yeah, too solid. Oh, the round start jab had a small opportunity there. Couldn't get much. Neo oh, expertly escapes. Yeah. Yeah, nice rollout too. And good and good awareness from Gcon not to chase it down because he knows he couldn't get the OTG from that range. Look at that. Psylocke will always lose the commando. Mmm, look at all these trades. Oh, but gets the hit! Huge! Now, if he doesn't drop it, this might be a dead sentinel. First super works out well. Set up for the second. Are we gonna mash? No! no. Uh-oh, guard break here too. Oh, it takes the hit. This is this if he kills Storm, Rom the whole way until 30, 40 hits. Drops it. Yep, cancels the hail. Lighting attack right there. Poked a little couple times in a row. Baits out the commando there. It's well worth your Psylocke health to get that to hailstorm. Yep. Side blade. That's going to hurt. Yeah, take a little bit of hail. Go for the Typhoon, but no hail. That's going to trade. Oh, open up. Doesn't commit. Psylocke's taking more. One more hailstorm, possibly. Using the Ian Disruptor. Does Commando die? No, he doesn't. This is do or die here. Neo needs to be a bit more aggressive. Needs to land a try jump here. Psylocke doesn't die here. Could have maybe mash a little bit harder. Nice block on the try jump. And oh, that's going to hit both people. And G Con oh. takes over. <laughs> Neo and eliminating him from the tournament, making it to top four. Damn, cooked up, got his spot, claimed it well. Strong stuff, G concepts. Oh, who mighty? While you were a mighty warrior, unfortunately, <laughs> we have to bid you adieu. <laughs> Shout yeah, out to Neo. <laughs> Shout out to Neo. Don't worry, man. Don't worry, Neo. Lucas will hit you up for the next commentary for Marvel <laughs> 2. You know what I mean? You're good, baby. Drip up to the other side, okay? Yeah, yeah. I, I, which is interesting because Cable versus Strider isn't like, I would say terrible, but I would think Strider has definitely has the advantage against this, this specific team. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna see. Cyclops definitely is gonna probably play a, play a big factor here. So far in the early stages, not too too bad though. Just trying to, as we know, build this meter, whiff as much as we can here. Okay, nice. Ooh, this is the, the unfly combo right there. 
Look how much chip damage that is. And yep, we're going to bring Strider, lock him down. Oh, with the instant overhead and gets a full combo. He is going down. Oh, dude, the gun comes in next. Still has to block everything. You're human <laughs> as soon as you have to deal with the mix. Yep. Oh, that guard break was stolen. I'm stealing that. Nah, that was... Ooh, no way. Look how much damage he got off, off of that. Insane. Oh, I shouts, won't let you go. Shouts <laughs> Nick for the $15 contribution to that match. Reno, thank you very, very much. Appreciate you. Oh, that Strider, damn. That Strider guard break is still living in my head right now. Uh, he is different for this, bro. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. Oh, I mean, cable. Oh, here we go. We got a hit. Okay, two meters. You probably only, only need to spend two meters if you mash right. Oh, no, he mashed a little bit too hard. You can't cross the beams. Yep, that's the teleport. That's the one thing I'm saying. Te Strider teleport is just so good against. Okay. Guard break. Yep. Look at that. That's such a sick guard break. Yeah, the use of the bird looking clean. One more opportunity here, but it's just going to be chipped out at this point. Yeah, anytime you can just do a string into teleport, like, Cable can't really do anything about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's just really, really tough. That's why I was, like, surprised that he picked um, Scrub Clops. Like, I'm assuming he picked Scrub Clops more for the Sentinel Cyclops pick. But he, and then Team Roll would have a hard time just because Rocket Punch is not really, doesn't really do anything against Doctor Doom. Mm -hmm. So you have to rely on Cable Scimitar, right? And then if you're if you're if you're using Cable Scimitar as your secondary character, that means Cable is going to be bleeding a lot. So I'm assuming yeah. that's why Scrub Clops was probably the preferred pick. But we're going with Team Roll. You know what I mean? Pick your stuff. Pick your stuff. Oh. I think he, I think he picked the wrong assist with Magneto, so he oh, dropped out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he picked, uh, he picked, he picked capture. Oh, he, so he picked the hypergraph assist by accident, which is funny, but, <laughs> but no, 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 not gonna work out there. So gonna have them reconnect in just a second. We appreciate you guys for the patience. Yeah, you know, you know, Magneto's hypergraph assist, it would be better if it was heavy kick hypergraph. But because mm. it's light kick hypergrav, it just goes nowhere. So there's no point of using the hypergrav assist. You think if it was heavy, people would use it? Yeah, because then it's because it, because because the heavy hypergrav tracks to a certain amount, mm -hmm. and then it goes almost like it, it goes like ninety percent screen. So I think specific combos like would work really well, like especially if you do an air combo into the hypergrav assist, so you just get another follow up, like another like relaunch or another like sequence would be pretty cool. Not true. It might be pretty good against random flying Sentinel too if you could pull the screen down on him. That'd be exactly. Cool. But because of light, light, light kick hypergraph, it just doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, that's garbage. <laughs> that makes sense. I think Marvel Three has is light kick hypergraph as well too, right? Yeah, it is. And it's like only used by like two players on the planet. <laughs> like, yeah, and it's all it's all combo extensions, not even neutral. Yeah, it's just for it's just for Modok stuff. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Let's go for the refight, but look at lockdown. Able to lock down. Look at that. And able to put in Strider. Yep. Forces uh forces the alpha counter. He knew that was gonna happen. Because if he tried to attack and then he did scimitar, then cable would have took the cable would have traded with him, which would have worked down his favor more. Auction the bird, continuing this trap, continuing the lockdown, gets the hit. Launcher builds a lot of meter off of that, so has another one. Nice go through a teleport this time around. Yeah. But it's gonna trade. Yeah, it doesn't matter. That bomb. It's so, so anti-cable, it's insane. That hit. Almost got another bullet there. Oh my god! Plenty of meter, so HVB will spell death for pretty much anything it touches now. Just looking for an... He said, give me a reason. <laughs> Doesn't get the DAC in time. I think maybe Magneto Tempest might have been a better option there. Oh, the bombs and the kill and the trades all in lockdown's favor. Okay. But it, but is this too late, though? That's the real question. Super, super. Most of the snap doesn't get anything from it. Yep, push box the first one, so he's able to super jump between the second and third. Gets the hit, gets the fly combo. Sick. Yeah, the fly combos. Oh, with the refly? Oh, nah, he tried to do double refly. That's disrespectful. 
You trying to hit him with the light, light, light? No way, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was mad disrespectful. He didn't have to do that. One refly was acceptable. The second one? Why'd you go? Why'd you have to go for the second one? Jesus Christ. Oh, dude. Let's say save save the tendons in your hand, brother. Just do rocket punch. Just, yeah. <laughs> just get it over with, bro. Oh my god. Lockdown okay. makes Strider look broken. He makes his character look like he's like the, he makes it look like the best character in the game. Dude, you just eventually you just get stuck, and it's really like like I said, like Strider looks like he's he's broken. He does all the work. It's just and it's, it's because his trap is so good, and it's because his Sentinel is giving him Strider all these resources. Yes. Yeah, hundred percent. Strider regularly is coming in with like three and like by virtue of being able to build meter four orbs like every single time. Yep. Okay, goes with a short again. Nice, nice. Roundhouse, roundhouse. Matar, yep. Go dash at the corner. Oh, but nice cancel onto the fly right there. Gets the super armor. Oh, locked out the jump back. Yeah, the defense. Look at his his robot is maneuvering right now into the fly combo. Consistent with the reflies again. Jesus, man, he makes those look so easy. That is not easy at all. But the snap snaps the spit and gets the hit. Look how much damage. That's the guess. Oh, the cross up. And just like that, Strider goes down. But Sentinel, I mean, Lockdown might win this whole game with Sentinel unless Mike giving this cable has to do something with it. He has four bars, so. Oh, but gets the grab. That's one. Gets another grab. <gasps> oh, that have been sick off the rocks. Yep, nice block on the low. Good block on the instant overhead. He's getting stomped out. Oh, he goes down. Dude, overcoming matchup bad. Not too worried about it here. Yeah. And it's because Cable didn't have a solid anti-air at that point. So it's like, because Sentinel Rocket Punch cannot do anything against Sentinel Doom. And he's getting mauled. Yep. Go for the grab, nice tech, but the Doom Rock still protection and lockdown. Moving on to the grand finals with a quick three straight Dude. there. We talked about this guy Sentinel so much. We talked about his traps, the way he's able to lock people down. That was all robot, brother. Yo, his was... Sentinel was moving. <laughs> all right, we're going to see the teams. What is the variant? All right, we're going to cover the storm. Oh, no. Yep, g -Con's going to go with the Thrax, maybe, or the Storm Send Cable. Oh, we are going with the counter pick. Okay. Thrax. Yep. Okay, it's going to be uh, Tom versus Jerry at this point. You know, Tom yep. and Jerry, cat, cat, uh, cat, mouse chase. It's going to leave the Sentinel here on the point, so... Big guess right off the rip, goes for the jab, gets the hit. Okay, but it was an OTG hit, so he slides out. Yeah, it's very hard to get the OTG there, especially because Commando took the hit for Sentinel there, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. We, we get the first hit. I think we we're going to go for the Hypergraph Tempest again. Maybe build a little bit of meter here. Yep, Hypergraph Tempest, no mash out. One more. Easy. Oh, he mashes <gasps> out. That's a, that's a professional right there. Dude, and letting the letting the uh, the uh, hard drive rock a little bit longer so he gets out of the corner too. That's super yeah, sick. Yeah, super good. Also the corridor right there. Uh huh, uh huh. -huh. Let me down with the roundhouse. Storm with the typhoon up there. So, but no, no, she doesn't have meter though. But she opens him up. Cam Commando with the camouflage. This is the try jump. Right, if you're iMatch Buns here, at this point, you need to like focus on building bars, sniping the assist. But I think g -Con, I mean, he's at he's the position where he's trying to do the same exact thing. Uh-oh. Again, misses the try jump. Gets hit by another pow. You can't take that many pals, man. Storm, I mean, Storm has not normal health, but just a little, little bit below normal health. Mm -hmm. Back and forth Good snipe. Too, oh my god. Yo, that That's snipe was godlike. Yeah, leave him in, fight it out. Let's get it. I <laughs> yeah. I mean, he has Sentinel assist. So Sentinel with Commando does really extremely well. 
Nice jump cancel right there to not take the hit of that jump fierce. Oh my god, you still suck, huh? <laughs> oh my god, he, he's not doing that damn thing right now. Hey, listen, we're trying. He's doing his best is what he's doing. Unfortunately, his best is not helping right now, but there's the launcher. Okay, okay. Mm, nice. Yeah, that should be game right here. Ghost tries to go for a YOLO snap. Doesn't work out. Econ takes the first game. That's <laughs> funny. That That's funny. He couldn't do a damn thing, even if he had two assists. <laughs> Oh, dude, Commando sucks so much. Yeah, <laughs> it's so funny to watch. He's Captain suck ass. Oh, dude, I'm so. <laughs> yeah, the drones. You were like, yeah, he can fight. No, he can't. Oh, All right. I mean, I was, Cyclops was cooking him. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, Cyclops. Yeah, Cyclops was just cooking his, cooking him in general up close. Because when she's up close, her buttons are like really amazing. Oh yeah. Not expecting much of a swap here. Let's see if it can keep it rolling. G Concepts still sitting on the lead right now after the jab goes back to the full screen. Okay, tries to go for Hypergraph, but doesn't bite there. Here's Roundhouse. Mmm, nice block and gets the rocket punch right there. What a defensive decision. Because I think iMash Buns was looking forward for G Con to press the commando assist early, right? But because he didn't, he went for the grab. Oh, look at the damage on this one. It's insane. What a sick optimized combo there. Missed after the launcher, but that's okay. Still sitting on such a lead. Oh, okay, unless. lightning attack. No, no lightning storm, though. Oh, yes. That's a punish on both characters right there. We punish Seno, but Seno can't afford. That's a big boy. Yeah, I was going to say, Seno, not too worried about getting uh, catching the hailstorms there. Doesn't add up too much. Lightning attack, on the other hand, decent. About half life off. Yeah, even then, at this point, the characters uh, goes for the snap. Get rid of the problem. Get rid of the only character that could cause a comeback. Yep, let go of the controller. Uh, bring the commando. Let me get the rematch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it'd be funny if he, bring, if he brings the commando and Salak starts fighting. <laughs> uh, two to zero. <laughs> Dude, G Concepts. Looking ridiculous, man. I just yeah. uh, I like the counter pick here. Dominating, not having to play the mirror. Yeah, it's so, so good right here. That's what I expected. Hey, okay, he's thinking about it. He's thinking about the Cyclops, maybe. Hmm. The problem I mean, is, a, oh, he, okay, he's going for it. But yeah, you okay. were saying? I was just gonna say, maybe a change of, maybe just a change of scenery might be what he needs here. Yeah, it's just the problem is, Ordor's is gonna blow him up the same way. That's very true. Let's see if things get a little better here. Back dash right at the round start. Can't catch him with a low. Yep. Snap. Okay, but we're already doing better with this with this assist. Oh, but he holds up. Hmm, get about immediately. Yeah, very smart team back in the correct order now. Not too worried about it, but Cycle King again. Maybe, like I said, it just might be the confidence factor here because he's moving a little different. Yeah, he's not just like dashing and calling like side blade assist, right? He's literally mm -hmm. going head first with Magneto. And tries to go for the grab, but misses the grab attempt right there. Maybe a little bit. Oh, nice. Almost got a snap there. Guy, there's a punish against a block snapback from Magneto. Okay, okay. Fly. And G caught. Oh, no, that's a punish. Cyclone kick. Okay. He should be able to win the, the rest of the game here. Who knew that Cyclone kick was the adjustment we needed? Goes for the reset. The spin out. Yeah, cancel the hail. Do as much chip damage as possible. Because you need to get rid of Sentinel. Nice block. Give a jump. No, it doesn't go for the advanced punish. Perfect dash to get over the bombs there. Yeah, heavy kick bombs. No pun I think he's trying to build meter to probably just do just chip damage. I think he realized he's relying on chip damage more than trying to land a hit now. 
Double click. Captain Sword's gonna punish. But Storm is able to punish Captain Sword. Push him out even after the Cyclone Kick. Oh, little punish, but not enough. Commando, though. Just building meter for Sentinel at this point. Damn. <gasps> <laughs> I thought he was going to get there. I was so excited. You were so excited. That's going to be enough chip. If you, you could do it. Almost. That was, that, was a good, that, was a good, that was a good mash attempt. I'll give you that one. I, I, I approve of the mash. Dude, honestly and truly, a Cyclone Kick, not only in the way that he was counter calling with it, but just the way that his Magneto was moving looked yeah. so much cleaner. Yeah, you're right about that one. He definitely feel... I mean, he, it seems like more like he, when you enjoy a team more, you know, like you just want to play that team and find more ways to make it work. So it definitely seems like he's just finding a, oh, he's like, though, you want to counter pick? I got you, baby. <laughs> oh, All right. Damn, this, this, this has become a sweaty tournament now because he is ready to just counter pick. Yeah, I respect it. 99. Yeah, absolutely. Bloodshed. Go straight in. Yeah, you see that? Cyclone Kick is not going to do anything against Psylocke. Oh. Nice. Beats the reset right there. Cyclone Kick. No, the, no punish on the short launch. Short launch is definitely punishable on block. Cyclone Kick almost got a double snap there, actually. Oh, okay. Hold on. Dude, this is crazy how well it's working. Oh, he was scared. He was scared of the side blade assist. And it... Tr oh, his Hailstorm completely lost there. Yeah, I thought for sure that was going to be a trade. Ends up getting the hit on Psylocke again. One more good random uh, Hailstorm, depending on how much Meteor we can build. And this could cook up the assist here. Yeah, Magneto almost died from that Hailstorm already. Come on. Nice block. Cyclone kick. Oh, this is the try jump. That was huge. That could have been a chance. Yeah, he's going to do it. He wants the Magneto mix up the guard break. This is a guaranteed guard break right here. Goes for the throw. Uh oh. Damn. He might not get a chance. He not. He might not get a chance to play anymore. As I said, that he drops the, the last air dash. Manuel's gonna come in, tries to go through, but doesn't get through. Cyclone kick again. Misses the short launch. A little bit too short. Oh, good amount of damage off the hailstorm there. Cyclone kick again gets value, but we lose our assist now. All up to Solo Magneto. Yeah, and that's not gonna. Be, and that's gonna be game over. Damn, G concepts. I like that. Gets a lead with the Thrax. Baits out the <laughs> words I never thought I would say. Baits him into picking Cyclone Kick. <laughs> <laughs> switches MSP to kill him. That was fun to watch, actually. I, I actually awesome. like the Cyclone Kick. Um, it worked out too. So. Yeah, I hope to see more of that because it's it's definitely a, a more fresh take of a of a rushdown Magneto, and it looked really good. It looked very like a like a Marvel three rushdown type of thing, right? With like with yeah. a cyclone kick with, with that type of assist to keep the character restand, and you get you get like another opportunity for offense and more more accessible for double snaps too. So pretty nice. Team will continue to thrive, man. You know how yeah. it goes. Here we go, losers finals. The New York team kill, unfortunate here, but you know, once you get to this point in the bracket, you just one of you guys got to be worse. <laughs> oh, just... Yeah, that's right. And then the thing about G-Con is he's playing Santhrax against Mike Infinite's uh, Team Row, where he does have MSP as a counter pick available. <laughs> so we're gonna see if uh, how the, how this play is gonna be. Oh my God, almost that was big, but the pushback on hitting both characters was huge right there. He's able to fly through. No. Wants to keep it safe, just in case. That didn't work out. Tried to go for the fly through. Trying to keep his spacing as best he can. After the jab, that was sick with the rocket punch. I love it, but he drops. Yeah, it drops, but look at Commando. His Commando is bleeding. Commando, uh, even though he, Commando has the anti -air, normally the strategy here is using rocket punch as the counter call against uh, Commando after it ends. Oh, caught up with the DHC. The uh, fortunate active frames there of the grenade. Takes a long time to get it out of your hands. It does control a ton of space, though. Yep. Abel was able to snap out. Oh, nice. Goes for the Viper Beam. No bite on the Viper Beam, though. Jump shoot. 
Nice block on that one, though. Ooh, doesn't commit to the short, short lightning attack. Recon is hitting the skies. Mm -hmm. Blocking. Oh, but gets hit standing. All right, two, two more of these. Will definitely kill Storm. One more. New, yep, normal jump. It got a mash out of it. No, it has to spend one more there. Oh, ends up holding on to the meter here. DHC all the way through. But yeah, unfortunately, that was so his DHC, greedy. Yeah. His DHC into a really tough matchup. Yeah, but the thing is, I mean, it's better than Commando, I would say, than Sentinel. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, my, oh, he could have definitely done that fly combo. Uh oh, but look at Sentinel losing Half-Life automatically, 60%. Getting stomped out the corner. Does he does he DAC in a Sentinel? No, he doesn't. Great. Oh, I thought he was going to cancel the Hyper to cause the trade there. Yeah, just committed to the TK there. And we're getting the trade with the drones. Has priority. Found the low, but didn't fully commit. Yeah, I didn't believe that he's going to get hit by that, that crouching light kick. And the chip damage is just enough. Mm, look at that. String him up. String him up. Sentinel can't do anything there. <laughs> Commando out there with a baby and a mech acting like they did something. <laughs> <Get away. laughs> Go back, bro. <laughs> what bro, you know, zero. My man, my man, he, he, he supported. That was a, that's a support character if I ever saw one. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, select your assist type, and then now we're going to go back to Team Row. I mean, that was a really competitive game. It could have went either way. Like, I think both of these players were, like, kind of, like, not committing, but they were, like, second-guessing themselves. Like, oh, why'd you get hit there? You know? It was more, like, warn warning hits, I would say. Yeah. Nice Ooh, knockdown. Yeah. Oh, my God. Your whole team, brother. Bro, but too fast for that try jump. Wasn't able to switch sides. Oh my God! Sent. Damn. Bro, in the clutch. And he gets the guard break. So sick. Tried to set up board again. Doesn't work out that time. Yeah. Gets the hit here. Not gonna get a punish. But we're gonna go for the counter pick. And Gcon is really good at just like. You know, doing his, using his game plan, and then you know what? We're gonna play matchup with matchup with matchup. Oh my God, he's turning up the gas too with how quick he has been moving. Good knockdown, tries to set up for the mix, just backs off. No reason to overextend. I love it. Yep. No reason there. There again with the corridor. Oh, the reach up combo too. That was so clean, dude. Yeah. Oh my God. 2-0. And then, I mean, G-Con is, I mean, if he makes it to the Grand Finals, he is the only person that took a game off of uh, Lockdown. You know? And able to take it to the, the distance. I think it was like 3-2 um, when they when they played in, in the bracket. Which is crazy to think about. Yeah. Oh no, uh, <clears throat> Matrix got one. Oh yeah, he got one. Okay, alright. I took a game. Oh, my bad. My bad, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> my bad, my bad. This is tough, though. Concepts, Thrax has been kind of ridiculous here. Can the switch up help? The Sentinel Point battle going to decide a ton of that. It's a Gene Splice. Oh, short, short rocket punch. Going with the Scrub Clops here. And again, you know, surprisingly, Mike just choosing this match in particular instead of like Cable on point against uh, G Con Sentinel on point. Nice. Go for the chip damage right here. The reset neutral is what I like to call it. Upwards rocket punch. Yeah, a lot of times Sentinel likes to fly so high that upwards rocket punch is such a good answer. Yep. Oh no, but losing out on your own robot here. Cable, if we can get out of this corner, we have a big opportunity. And does yeah. takes a lot of damage for it. Yeah, but G-Con's definitely is going to he's gonna get he's gonna get Sentinel out of here ASAP. Yep, and he's going to fight the better matchup, the runaway matchup. And the problem with this is 
Cable Cyclops is not the best against Storm if Storm decides to hit the skies. Because, like, the Gene Spice doesn't go to the top of the screen like that. Mm -hmm. Compared to Commando, where Commando would snipe her and kind of stop her from doing Typhoon there. Chess j -Bat, by the way, coming through with a gifted sub. Thank you very, very much, man. Appreciate that. Oh, tries to go for the empty, the try jump because one hit away is probably which seals set. And just as I said that, Captain Sword, Sentinel, no, just go with Captain Sword right away because he's gonna try to make this work. Okay. <laughs> okay, with the Tatsu, I like it. Oh, get off of me. Yeah, that should be game right here. Oh, 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 he didn't have to do that. <laughs> Hey, yes, he did. G concepts, bro. Assert dominance. Three games. Strong, dude. Looking amazing. All the Thrax, too. Yeah, we're going with the with the counter pick order. Counter pick team, MS Pay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yep, Ooh. Get, get ready to try to get rid of Strider. Misses the OTG, able to teleport. Oh my God, Strider got out. Oh yeah, what a nightmare. And all of this spawning off of that one double snap that actually didn't hit both characters. So unfortunate, but here we are, a second opportunity. How often do you find one of these? You know, some somebody's lucky, four leaf clover time. And, and we we have to, we had a chance to guard break Sando and he took the hit. And it's so easy to guard break him, especially if you're Magneto. Yeah, big body sent, unfortunately. And it's the same curse in this game as well. Since you're a big body, you take even more damage from everything because you get hit by all of it. Ooh, the guard break with there. Yeah, that's going to be game simple. Hailstorm. Game number one, G-Con. Ah, another e MSP game. And uh, Lockdown had opportunities, too. I mean, G-Concepts found the first double snap. Lockdown was able to get away and reestablish himself fully. And still, G-Concepts found that next hit. Yeah, it's just hard because Strider, I mean... Even though he came in and you know he got hit, he was able to get away. It's just that he didn't have the the resources available. And kind of like a, a scramble situation. Because at that point, you're just like, oh man, what do I do? This is not what this is not what's supposed to happen in my game, right? Mm -hmm. Here we go again. Same situation as before. Can it go a little better here for lockdown? Again with the snap. <laughs> this time, this time we're going with Doctor Doom and not Strider. Yeah, because at least here, Doctor Doom needs to build two bars before escaping, and he does. Yep, use that butter gun to great effect. Trying to get him down to the ground and does. Strider with no meter though, definitely a little bit of a struggle. Yep. Agony Tempest and it kind of worked out in in, in uh, G Con's favor right there. Oh, the teleports all day. Bombs. Oh my god, the damage. And stop. Yep, he goes down. Mag Magnus! So he got hit with three birds in one jump. <laughs> oh my oh, god. That. Dude, they, they, they flock and they flock, right? Together. <laughs> he said birds together strong. Yeah. Jesus. Sneaking that low, trying to just go for the feet as often as possible. Gets the tag, though, smart. Yeah. We're all tags into the better character to, to build the meter back and also fixes his order as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, goes to side blade. Ooh, tries to go for the restand, but he was holding up, so he took the air hit instead. Yep, modify air dash. Uh oh. Nice jump out. Like that too, went for the chase down on Storm instead of just trying to grind out the damage on Psylocke. That's, yeah, that's not going to hit Dr. Doom. If it was three hits of the Typhoon, it would definitely would hit Dr. Doom right there. Yeah, but he came an alpha counter out there because Psylocke was already getting juggled. Nice. Cancels in the side blade so he doesn't get guard broken here, but instead it's still a bad position. Yeah, throw the Tigers. Doesn't even need to cancel Orb. Doesn't even need to make a good trap anymore because it's, it's just Psylocke available. Yeah, at this point, you just wait until you get an opportunity here. No reason to do much. You can just kind of brute force it, like you said. Yep. Gets the knockdown. Uh, one to one. Oh, this is this this is a fun set here. Yeah, definitely been sick so far. 
if we can keep up with that momentum here in lockdown, it definitely looked much better off the rip. How is lockdown super diamond? Is he just not grinding? Yeah, that I think ridiculous. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, I think the Marvel two players like the they they they, they play more like either in like lobby matches or oh, yeah, in course. person, right? <laughs> it's just funny. Yeah, I it's know. Just, I just kind of like when I when I look at it's like the the do mr, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dash is back right away. Playing the neutral, run, fly, fly, fly. Goes with the fierce camera. Oh, but gets touched. Uh oh. Is it one of these situations right here? Might be. Let's see how it goes. How's the mashing? Not quite there on the first. You get another chance here. Tempest. And he's dead. Gonna go down. Now Strider has to take the guard break. Takes the hit. Yeah, because he knows G-Con keeps going for that, that specific setup. And if you just take the hit of that one, it definitely is in your favor. And about the Tiger. So again, the trap working out well. As pretty much, essentially, he has four orbs left over here, especially because that extra damage on the assist. Yep. Okay, goes with the Hailstorm. That's going to trade. Bandwitch is into the rocks. Ooh, Psylocke taking some hit. She lost a lot. Of, yeah, you can you can do a lot of damage against the assist if you if you use if you have them trapped with Strider orbs because everything can reset. Okay, off of the rocks, great push block, crazy work. High blade. Yep. A little bit more damage from Psylocke. Throws the Eagles, doesn't cancel right away. Juggling Magneto here. Dude, oh look at Magneto's God. health. He died. <laughs> He's dead. I told you, dude, don't don't think orbs do no damage, but because and against assist, it can do a lot. Especially in conjunction with Doom, you saw between the two, took uh, everything up. Psylocke is available, depending on how we want to mash it here instead. Okay. Yeah, it's, yeah. Again, look at Psylocke still bleeding right here, but Storm's doing a great job running away. Now he doesn't have orbs, so... He, oh, he didn't commit again! That could have definitely been a win. You're going to call Psylocke here, but look at Psylocke taking all these hits. Push blocking, it doesn't matter. Double jumping, defending with the assist as well too. That's the orbs. Can't really do anything about that. Yeah, all that meter, no way to spend it. Two games in a row here for lockdown. Potentially gonna just, just end the tournament here. One more. Yeah, and if you guys are wondering why Manuel died off screen down there while he's getting hit by the orbs, is because if you do Strider standing heavy punch, it's supposed to send you like away. Like it's it's like a get off of me move, right? Because, uh, so if you're comboing with the orbs with the assist and the assist doesn't go away, it's all reset damage there. Mm -hmm. Because if, if you do that combo that I just said against a point character, they'll be able to block after the standing heavy punch. But because the assist cannot block, he took all, just like he took a bunch of just heavy punches in the face off screen. All right. For your tournament life here, G Contest round star tries to go for the dash forward. Lockdown gets away. Yeah, goes with a stand jab right there. Doesn't go for like a launch combo. Yeah, I, I feel like you need to kind of like go for more assist punishes. Oh! Okay. All right. This is it. This is like the equivalent of like zero lightning loops. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but there is a spin out. Oh, that's going to hit Ragnarok. Oh, I don't think he meant that. But like I said, one of Strider's think players hates the most is Ragnarok or off the wall. Okay. Doesn't get a cancel. Yeah. That's going to punish maybe. No. Strider was able to block in time. Setting a low on life here, but we've got the two. We got the dynamic duo here, so we shouldn't need him too much in these situations. Yep. Gets the air throw. Rolls into the chip damage of the rocks. And like I said, no meter building on MSP sides. It literally is all chip damage. And you don't even get red health. Yeah. 
And now yeah. this could be the end of Storm here. Had to alpha counter. I think with the second orbs, that would have killed. Look at this. And you're going to get the setup right here. Oh, the string him up. Because all this, every time he gets hits too, like if he if you if he hits you, he builds more meter. Butterfly worked out a little bit. Just the activation again, though. Now in a position where you might just be guessing for your life here soon. Gets the hit with the bird bomb. Yeah, that's nice. No push block against the rings, though. Just let Storm die. Tigers, tigers, eagles. Oh my, bombs! Watch out! Oh, nice launch. Wow, what a fix from <gasps> G-Con. That was so sick. Actually, and now with Dr. Doom. Yeah, gets the clean hit. Doom, I mean... <gasps> no yeah, way, just, right? Oh my god, hits both. I mean, random super. Cross up. Oh! One more guess. Assist for assist. Launch. Launch. It was a little bit wrong, but if he gets if he gets a time... A place where he can do hit super, and that's going to be enough... No, not enough. Barely. <gasps> Go for the foot dive. More foot dives. It's close. Wow. It's close. Side blade. Oh my god. Oh my god. Too many side blades. Ooh, oh my the god. Of super. <laughs> the falling short of the super lockdown takes it on a crazy. Dude, what an emotional roller coaster of a final game, bro. Holy moly. <laughs> oh, man. Lockdown is your two time Jeez. DNS Marvel versus Capcom 2 online champion. Dude, that was so good, bro. That was so fun to watch him play. Always so fun.